Elder Scrolls Online Blackwood. This is part two. If you missed the last episode, it is linked down below in the description. I don't want to spoil any of the main story if you're joining right now, but welcome if you are. The last episode is linked below. And we're carrying on with the uh, main quest line. I'm very excited. Hello, everyone. It's good to hello, see you all hello, again. Thanks friends. for joining the live stream. I can hear myself. To the Elder Scrolls Where is that noise coming from? Blackwood. That's terrifying. I was like, why can I hear an echo of what I said five seconds ago? <laughs> Fantastic. Okay, now it's fixed. We can carry on with the main story. Let's speak to Everly again about this mysterious letter we've just received. Well, did the letter say anything important? Well, it isn't signed, and it asks us to come to the Amnis Manor on the Manor on the south side of town alone. Hmm. An anonymous letter asking us to come by ourselves to a creepy old manor? Nothing suspicious about that. Not at all. Well, I don't suppose we have any better leads. I'll meet you there. I like how she's like, yep, sounds very sus. Let's go. Let's let's go to this mysterious place, friends. If you like what you see in the stream, by the way, you can grab Blackmore for a discount of 15%. Link down below in the description. Highly recommend grabbing it early because you think you can still get the pre-order bonus. But only if you like what you see so far. Okay, so apparently the manor is over here. This is Blackwood, by the way. You were not in yesterday's stream. Apparently we've got to go through here. This town isn't actually in the Elder Scrolls Oblivion, no. This is the creepy manor. About it does time. seem a little... I was beginning to think I'd hired the wrong courier. Ah. This is our Dark Brotherhood friend. Very sus man indeed. So, did you get my message? I was worried I'd hired one of those incompetent couriers. You know, the ones who take your gold and then toss your letter into the dung heap. I had to eliminate more than a few of those in my time. In my time? Your letter mentioned that you had information. Right to business. I wanted to ask you if you tried the swamp eel in a blackberry wine sauce at the Egg and Hammer. I hear it's the specialty of the house. Oh. Anyway, Fondacia. I did some digging and I came up with this place. Amnis Manor. You know, I actually brought um, a book that you can actually buy on Amazon. Um, list the official Bethesda cookbook. I've not actually tried to cook anything from it yet. But if you guys are interested, maybe I'll, I'll make a video. What do you think? How do you feel about almost being at 2 million subscribers? Dude, it feels amazing. But I mean, it's, it's thanks to you guys. So, you know, I owe my thanks to you guys. It's been 10 years almost. Well, over 10 years now, I think. It's been a long time. Very long time. I've aged terribly. My back isn't the same. So, what's the connection with Vandasia? Well, I got to thinking. A cult like the Waking Flame doesn't pay for itself. It needs wealthy donors, am I right? <laughs> of course I am. Anyway, Mattis Amnis. He's a known supporter of Vandasia. And a closet Dagonist. Generous too, I hear. A closet Dagonist, my favorite kind of human being. And what am I going to find here? Hey, I can't do everything. Search the manor. Rumblings in the back alley say that something big is about to happen. An event Ooh. of some sort. And Vandacia's stink is all over it. Maybe something here will point you to it. Okay. We go into the alleyway. We actually have to go through the front entrance. Doesn't seem very assassin-like. Not very sneaky. I don't peer through the windows. No. Must go through the front door, friends. I'll go in sneak mode. Yes, do the cookbook. Sorry okay. it took me so long to get here. How the Look hell would you get inside? Alright, oh, it's good to see you here. There's a note. Did you receive your invitation? Councillor Verandis. Verandisa. Events are always spectacular, and I am given to understand that this one will be particularly special. Well, I'm not surprised if, if he's a closet Dagonist. Sky Queen, thank you so much for the $10 super chat. Wish I could actually watch, but at work. Hope you all have a great stream. Ah, oh, awesome. Well, it, these streams are always uploaded online later, so maybe if you have like a few hours spare and nothing to do, you could watch them later. 
I've been a staunch supporter of the councillor and his endeavours for nearly as long as you have, and we both belong to his very special social organisation. Are they talking about the Mythic Dawn? Is this like a sus code or something? I always suspected our efforts were leading to something, but I have a feeling that the truth will dwarf whatever imaginings I have conjured up over the years. This man's been waiting a long time for this. One other thing. Do you know what's going on at Salvito's estate? Is his place near Blackwood Lake? Something seems to have made Vandicia decide to keep a low profile before, th before this next event. And I've heard whispers that he sought refuge with the Gratian Salvito. If Salvito gets to learn about Vandicia's surprise before we do, it will... I will be very put out. Oof. I look forward to seeing you at the event. Okay, so this is from then Morris. Vandicia might be at the Salvito estate near Blackwood Lake? But what sort of event are they talking about? I like how Miri's just looking at the wall. 10 out of 10 investigation, Miri. Well done. Oh, I can just rob everything here. Fantastic. I'll, I'll take the fish out of your drawers. <laughs> I too like to store fish in my drawers. <laughs> Amazing. I always love how, like, the random objects you find in different places in the Elder Scrolls Online. Oh, there's something in here. The wardrobe's empty. Looks like Amnes has already left for the event. Whatever it is. I like to take all of my clothing to any event I attend. All 17 black shirts I own. Invitation cover letter. You are cordially invited to attend a most special event in the company of your brothers and sisters in our most exceptional and exclusive order. The gracious Council of Verandica will be present a history changing spectacle like none other ever seen before he would like you to share in the festivities i guarantee that all going to be sacrificed and their souls will be taken by dagon as he comes into the mortal play thank you so much for subscribing urban brawler that's, a, that's an awesome name by the way please find enclosed this special coin oh one second i steal it do we need a coin to get inside we need to secure passage before the event's location. All right. Hmm. That's just the cover letter. The detailed invitation is missing. And so is the coin. Well, that's because she left. I think that's everything we're going to find. Let's take another look at the evidence and see if we can figure out what's going on here. This letter to MS suggested that Verandissa went to the Salvito estate. It's a dyslexic's worst nightmare, I swear to God. Right. Says that's located near Blackwood Lake. It also mentions some sort of event. And I think both Amnes and whoever sent this letter are part of the Order of the Waking Flame. Actual Dagon is right here in Gideon. Can you imagine? Oh, can't believe it. The event sounds like he plans to reveal something special to his followers. I was thinking the same thing. Could he have found the other two ambitions? And are they people too? Cracked acorns. Mysteries make my head hurt. I'd much rather have a clear target so I can fill it full of arrows. A simple one you are. We found part of an invitation and noticed that this wardrobe was empty. Sounds like getting to the event requires a voyage and a special coin of some sort. How exciting. Since we don't have a coin or an invitation, we should go to the Salvito estate next. Alright, I'll meet you there. Don't need her to tell me where it is. I'll find that myself. We And I... Oh, yes. I couldn't quite make it over. I was banging my shins against the balcony. In a futile effort to jump anyway. over it. All right, let's go to the... Actually, you know, let's look on the map. Okay, it seems like we should just travel north out of the city across this swampy area here. Maybe we'll jump off the cliff where this ruin is. You know, just for the view so I can read the chat momentarily. There is so much content, solo player questing. Yeah, the Elder Hail Scrolls Online Strong is Hill. honestly like it's it's such a huge like this is obviously this zone adds this this chapter DLC adds this one zone of Blackwoods and the companion mechanic. Um which I'm still exploring. This is Tamriel. So, you know, like the first time we've seen Tamriel almost completed in that sense. And each one of these zones is massively huge as well. And then we also have Cold Harbor, which is a realm of oblivion. Uh, Arteum, 
and the clockwork city so you know the the world is just humongous there's so much content like even if you buy the base game that like if you're like on the fence about the elder scrolls online and trying it literally just buy the base game for 10 pounds to see if you like it there's a ridiculous amount of content on there alone look at this old ruined chapel it's pretty awesome there's a lot of spooky boys here I don't want to deal with them right now but instead we will head over to this back, estate near the Blackwood lake you know, I like to think I'm agreeable. Okay. Thanks for telling me. Oh, it's a, it's a rather charming estate, actually. So, um, if you guys remember the Elder Scrolls Oblivion, my childhood, basically, Cyrodiil is just over here. This is the Imperial City, right? So, the, the more south you go, um, if we go out again... Um, you then get to this area over here, which is where Leowin's located. So this section of the map just here is in Oblivion. This section of the map here with Blackwood isn't something we've really explored in a 3D Elder Scrolls game. Let's go inside and search the... Oh, there's... I see a few... Oh, we've been spotted! Already my cover is destroyed. But don't worry. Take her out from a distance. Get Rex up. Oh, a hell of a dodge roll. I'm impressed. I guess we've got to find a way in. Front entrance does seem like the, the obvious approach. Let's go through the front entrance. That got them off balance. It did indeed. Well spotted, companion. Yeah, you can play in first person. Hello there. It is I. I was not invited. I've come to read some books of yours. Doesn't seem like much of a party. I'm not going to... Let's go into sneak mode. Come on, guys. Let's sneak upstairs. Intruders! Stop them, my brethren! My Khajiit sneak skills are not very good. Where'd he go? He, he walked in here. Window. Head around ah. behind the house and let's cut him off. No, no. There's some things we can loot here. Actually, I can't. I'll just read these books then. Bringing can we get out travel is well worth the, the window? Space. Yes, we can. Shame they're so heavy. Oh, what's this? Dragon skull, eh? Ooh, I can see him over there. But sadly, there are many an enemy. Stop them, my brethren! I don't I want to reach to my you, boat! But now I'm going to. You heard the woman. He's desperately trying to reach his getaway vehicle. Well, like we're on a GTA chase down. He's trying to untie his boat. Look at him. <laughs> That's quite funny. Get Rex up. Doesn't appear that he has Stay succeeded. Back. Just let me go and I'll give you whatever you want. There he is. Gracian Salvito. Get him to tell you everything he knows. I'll ask him. What do you tell want? me everything. Uh, gems, gold, jewels. Whatever you want, it's yours. Just, just don't harm me. Where is the counselor? All right. All right, yes. Vandacio was here, stopped by for a visit with his new charge, but, but he's long gone. Perhaps if you hurry, you can still catch him. Thank you so much for the subscription, sick boy. Appreciate that, dude. It does really help support me, man. I really want to give ES another try, but it looks confusing AS. It, yeah, it is. It is confusing to new players, but I think they have done like a new player experience is a lot better now. So give it a go for sure, especially if you already have it. His new charge? Well prisoner actually he stopped by to show him off ah. give me a preview of his big event oh, please I, I shouldn't be telling you any of this it goes against our code tell me more about this event where is it and how did he get there so he's clearly found another one of the ambitions no one outside the order is allowed oh all right i can see there's no reasoning with you 
What the hell is happening? Brother, why have you why have you done this? Now I've missed the dialogue. Councillor Van Dacier is going Okay, well we don't know what happened. Let's speak to Evie. A ship at the Leowin docks? Where is Van Dacier holding this event of his? And he's got a prisoner? It sounds like he found one of the ambitions. Well, he gave us this invitation and this strange coin, so we can just take the boat over there. Let me see that. What a strange coin. The symbol on it. It looks like the symbols in the book I'm carrying. Here, you better hang on to the coin. At least we know how to get to Van Dacia's event, wherever it is. And you think we should get aboard the ship? Absolutely. Let's meet in Leowin. According to the invitation, the event requires formal attire, so we'll need to visit a tailor before we head to the docks. I'll meet you by the big tree just inside the city gates after I deal with Salvito. How's Blackwood so far? Wait one sec, are we not taking the boat then? Go to Leowin. Okay, okay, we've got to we've got to travel back to Leowin first. Fine, fine. I'm just going to go ahead and use the way shrine then. How's Blackwood so far? So I think the story is definitely growing on me. The story has been getting better and better and slowly more interesting. It's kind of like you kind of know what's happening. Obviously, Dagon's trying to invade the mortal plane again. That's that's his thing. He always fails, but that's his thing. Um, but it's like, oh, how's he going to do it this time? And that's quite an interesting thing. Um, yesterday's stream is quite interesting. Very detective like for sure, like at the start of the main story. So where do I need to go? To the castle again. Oh, over here. Okay. Alright, let's go over there then. So this is Leowin from Oblivion that some of you may recognise. I don't know if the Pale Lady is still in town though. She should be in the town square, right? You know, for the Dark Brotherhood questline from Oblivion. One of the best Dark Brotherhood questlines. So good. But uh, so far, I'm enjoying the chapter. Here, I've not done friend. any of the side quests. Companion seems okay at the moment. It doesn't like they, the companions are, like interesting. Maybe I'll talk a bit more about them at the end of the stream. Um, but they, I don't know, they don't feel like a proper follower, like from Skyrim, you know. Like, but they're all right. They're all right. I mean, I feel I feel like they're quite they're very helpful in terms of gameplay for like new players, especially. Um, I think like the world and the landscape isn't as black marshy as I thought it was going to be. Um, like, for example, if, if you go to Shadowfen, which is another DLC, like, this felt so Argonian. Whereas Black Marsh just doesn't feel as Argonian, even though I know it has Imperial influences in comparison. Just from a lore perspective, that's my opinion. But uh, let's chat to Ibli. Oh, good. I didn't miss you. We don't have much time before that ship departs, so let's get moving. Should we head directly for the docks? No. The invitation says we need formal attire to attend Van Dacia's Ooh, event. Fancy. When I dropped Salvito off with Governor Keshu, she suggested we'd be able to get what we need at the tailor shop here in the city. Do you know where the trailer, sh the tra the tailor shop is located? It's not far. Pretty much dead center of the city. The place is called Armor and Fine Garments. Keshu suggested we should ask for a tailor by the name of Perseus Loke. He's supposed to know his stuff. I'll meet you. Well, I should hope so. He was a tailor. Right in the city centre. I'll meet you there. Did you actually going the right way. Yeah. So this is where. No, what's that? It's the ladies' Dark Brotherhood Lady Shrine. I can't remember where it would be. Was it not around here, or is it just here where the Way Shrine is? I don't think it's here anymore, though. This is obviously based before the events of Oblivion by quite a bit. Alright, so apparently the tailor's is over here somewhere. Somewhere. It's just here. Right in front of me. Armor and fine garments. Anybody play Dishonored anymore? Because I do. Oh, dude, Dishonored is a great game. I've not played the second one still. I need to go back and play it, but um, I don't think I have the time really. You deal with the tailor. I need another moment to pick something out. They all look so uncomfortable. That's true. This guy's on the table flexing. 
Not so sure if Mannequin or Khajiit. Welcome, welcome to our little shop on... Wait a moment. I know you. Are you following me? I've had clients grow accustomed to my wares, but never has someone tracked me down from place to place. Are you with the young wood elf? How may I assist you? Hello again. We need attire for the formal event. Can you help us? Help you? I can indeed. It's good I decided to pack up and move to Leowen. I dread to think of anyone other than myself dressing you for a formal event. So, Savage. how formal are we talking about here? I'm not exactly sure, but the host of the event is Councillor Vandacia. An event thrown by a member of the former Elder Council? My word! That requires the utmost informal attire. Unfortunately, such clothing carries a hefty price. There's only so much I can do, even for a friend. But perhaps we can arrange something? Ooh, arrange something? What do you mean? Have they updated the graphics since launch? Dude, the game looks a lot better than launch. Like, the 3D models of all the armor and, like, graphically, texture-wise, like, definitely improved. They spent, like, a lot more time on some of that stuff, I think. Um, so it looks better graphically, but then also on Xbox um, and PlayStation, they've just got, like, a big graphical update as well to, like, bring it more in line with PC um, and because of the new console's power. So that's pretty awesome. Like, the game looks a lot better now on console. The trade is simple. I need silk from the Blue Whisper Moths for next season's line. Bring me a few bundles and I'll trade them for the attire you seek. They nest to the north along the riverbank. Or you can pay the gold, if you can afford it. Range of 47. Okay, since we're a millionaire, I, I'm just going to give him the gold. A pleasure doing business with you. Now, please, I'll do take your time quest. and select the outfit that most suits you. You want to look your best and also make a good impression when attending a formal event. All right, all right. Oh, we get to choose the out. Okay, okay. Shall we choose a dress? <laughs> Shall I go in a dress? <laughs> what do you guys think? Oh, there's actually a change. You can go inside the changing room. How funny would it be, like, roleplay-wise, if you were just, like, like, just sitting here, like, I really want, like, another player to come fast and just see me, like, jiving in the changing room. <laughs> Like, oh yes, this Daedric armor is beautiful. Mm. <laughs> Just laughing to myself in the changing room. Can we go in here? No, no, this one's closed. Okay, where is there any other clothing in here? So, a lot of bookshelves though. This guy's just chilling. I'm going to go upstairs. Maybe we'll rob him to get our gold back. And then I'll choose an outfit. They're just merchants upstairs by the looks of it. And someone's already robbed them. Oh, we can't go upstairs. That's that's DLC, my friends. Okay, so we have this this dress. Elegant outfit. So I'll call this number one. This is number two. Okay. And this is number three. The dapper outfit. And this is number four. Graceful outfit. Okay, so in the chat right now, one, two, three, or four. What what are we wearing to this party, guys? I'll be the three hundredth like on the video. Thanks, dude. <laughs> I'm not hitting like until it says two nine nine. <laughs> Wear the dress, the kitty must feel pretty. <laughs> one, two, three, or four. Let me know in the chat, guys. We have number one first. I don't mind paying for a, a female's dress. Okay, two, three. We're split. We're split right down the middle. The two twos, two threes, three ones, four threes. A lot of twos so far. A lot of ones. There's a lot of ones. That one and two so far, guys. Seeing more twos than ones. So I'm dressing in this outfit. We're going with the man's outfit so far. Might have to control F. Okay, currently we have we have more twos. As beautiful as this dress is, I'm kind of disappointed I wanted to wear a dress for some reason. But ornate that outfit looks it is. Good on you. Hang on while I try this one on. Why do I have to be blue? 
don't know if I Where like blue. Where does this piece go? She in the changing room. What am I supposed to do with this thing? This is itchy, and I can't breathe. Let me sneak peek. I'll be at this again tomorrow. Can't see over the top, guys. Sorry, rip. Try my best. All right, there. So, how do I look? Oh, is that her? Is that you? Let's have a look. What do you guys think out of ten? I think she's way too annoying. So, be honest. I look ridiculous in this outfit, don't I? There's no option to tell her she does. Bit disappointed. It looks great on you, I guess. You really think so? No. Thanks. You look good too. So, you be the noble and I'll be your escort. With these outfits, the invitation and the coin, we should be able to walk right up and board the Calamity. Then if we're ready, let's head over to the Leowin docks. Right. Just act natural and no one will suspect we don't belong at Van Dacia's party. But don't expect me to run, dodge, or loose arrows while wearing this. It isn't exactly made for sudden movements. No, I was going to say, you've not made a good choice here. Whereas my outfit, I am, I'm like a machine. Look at me. Right. We, before we go, guys, there's something very important we need to do to act natural. So, we need to go to our collections. Um, and we need... Is it emotes? Um... Where is it? Appearances. Personalities. Jester. We must act natural. Obviously. So I will now walk around like this. And then no one will suspect a thing. To the party we go. It would have been so funny if I picked a dress and just walked around like that. But you guys wanted me to look cool. So there we go. So we need to go to the docks over here. Very well. To the docks we shall go. I've got a lot. We. Oui. You don't want to do PvP. PvP is good fun. Like you really need to get into. You need to be ready. You know, <laughs> like you need to be ready for it. And it's full of really angry people, which is quite funny. Okay, so this is not where the. It's on the other dock, I think. Some people don't like the bustle of cities, but I come from a big family, so it reminds me of home. Is this big, grand boat the one we're taking? That's a bloody pirate ship, mate. Look at that! Oh, good, you're here. This dead stump has really been rustling my leaves. I am excited. Let's do this. And who might you be? This vessel's been hired for a private affair. We're here to travel to the event. Are you now? And where's your invitation? Here you go, and our coin too. Everly here will be accompanying me. Hmm. Salvito and guest, huh? All right. This all looks to be in order. Welcome aboard. Make your way below decks and find a bunk. We're shoving off shortly, and it's going to be a long voyage. I'm excited. I hope it's like the Dark Brother quest line where you you have to slowly assassinate everyone, even though I know it won't be. It gives me those vibes, you know. What's this? There's a stew here. I'm very hungry, so I'm going to take this. Yeah, let's loudly discuss it on the deck of the ship. We must be on the right ship. Everyone is dressed like they're about to have tea with Queen Irene herself. Ha! It's supposed to be a long voyage. What should we do now? I don't know. We want to avoid drawing too much attention to ourselves. We don't want anyone to figure out we're not actually supposed to be here. I guess we could talk to the other guests. See if we can learn anything. Just be careful, all right? Carefully talk to the other guests. Check. Then what? Then we should find our berths and get some rest. We our want berths. to be ready when the ship arrives at its destination, wherever that may be. Definitely be a romance option right here if this was a movie. I walk over here. Oh no, I can't. Who Jesus, Mary? You scare the crap out of me. All right, let's go and talk to some guests then. Hello there. Nice haircut, bro. I don't remember you. This must be your first time experiencing one of Vandacia's events. You're in for a treat, my friend, an absolute treat. But tell me, have you known the Councillor long? No, we only met recently. Ah, a new recruit to the cause. Welcome, welcome. 
I envy you. I remember my first time crossing over to... John, appreciate the compliment, dude. Green is not her colour. Yeah, fair enough. I agree. I don't know what would be her colour. I think her eyes are green, though, right? So maybe it matches. Or are they blue? I don't know. Why on earth is your chair walking like extra from Monty Python? Oh, your character. Oh, because I'm using the jester remote to blend in at the party. <laughs> Crossing over to where? The invitation never mentioned our final destination. To oblivion, obviously. Oh, no, no, my friend. I wouldn't want to spoil the surprise. I do suggest you get some rest, though. The voyage takes us through some strange waters. I find it better to sleep through the rough patches. Makes the trip pass by more quickly as well. Interesting. Very sus. <laughs> Monty Python's comedy sketch is such an accurate, like, description, though. Why is there a chest here? Okay, I'll loot this. Our follower actually gives us uh, the ability to find additional loot in chests, which is pretty nice. See if we get anything extra. Bog Raider's Greatsword. Yeah, I think there's some extra stuff in there. Nice. Bother someone else. Can't you see we're having a private conversation? All right, Red Guard. Huh? Oh, sorry. I, I was checking the rigging. We'll have the ship ready to sail momentarily. She looks absolutely screwed, man. Okay, so we're gonna we have to sleep in here, mate. I'm royalty. Why am I sleeping in these beds? There's one more NPC we can speak to, then we can leave. An Argonian. I do not know you, Vandasia and his recruitment tribes. I prefer the company of long-standing believers, not raw initiates fresh out of the egg. Do you know where the ship's heading? Somewhere spectacular. That's what I have been told. Vandasia does love to show off. The rumor is that this time, he actually has something vital to share with us. Huh. I look forward to seeing whatever it is. Any guesses? Guesses. As many as stars in the sky. But Whoa. such games get us no closer to the truth. I suggest you go and contemplate the blessings of fire and flood initiate. That is all that should really concern you. Well, she's clearly a member of the Mythic Dawn. Let's go and sleep in our crude hammock, my friends. Oh yes, the Deadlands Keep. Jesus Christ, that's a hell of a loading screen. Very foretelling, I must say. There's some NPCs with flirting dialogues. You can marry the followers or like romance them, right? People are always obsessed with that. I think they said something about that you could do that. Though I think... The keep is just ahead. I think the best way of playing Miri right now is as a healer. She's super effective. Are we here? I need to get the ship ready for the return voyage. I said... This is a hell of an estate. We're on the plane of oblivion. Surely we didn't just, like, travel here from Leowin. We're not even on the map. Where actually are we? You should join the rest of the guests up at the keep. I'm a little bit concerned. How could you sleep through that? Everyone else has already disembarked. We need to hurry. Really? Why don't you wake me up? Well... According to the last couple of nobles who headed off the ship, we're somewhere in the Deadlands, the oblivion plain of Mayrune's Dagon. I guess Vandacia really didn't want anyone interrupting this event. Where do we go from here? Same place the rest of the nobles went. Off the ship in that way. There's some sort of keep over there. That must be the place. Yeah, that, that definitely right looks you. like the place. Let's go see what this is all about. I am this very way, ready please. for this event. Mind where you step. I mean, there are plants that can attack you in Oblivion, so he's not kidding. What are you doing here, mate? Just chilling. La -da -da -da. Keep going. Stay on the path. No, what's this? I need to rob this. 
It looks pretty normal. Please what? excuse the mess, Your Excellency. This is so creepy. What the hell is going on? Let's go inside the Deadlands Keep. Smash that, bro. Oof. Oh, nice place. All right, this is weird. We're in freaking oblivion, and these crack day corns are having a party. I wonder when Vandacia plans to make an appearance. Do you think we should wait and see what Vandacia has to say? No, look around. He brought these people here to show them he's in control. That he's got power and the favor of Mayrune's Dagon. I think we need to explore this place and figure out what he's got planned before he reveals it to the world. It looks huge. Which is why we need to get moving. If he has found an ambition, maybe we can free them. And if it's something else, well, we need to see what it is and figure out what to do about it while there's still time. Let's search around and see if we can get a look at Vandacia's surprise before he parades it before these corrupt nobles. Oh, hey, look. Is that Lyrinth? What's she doing here? Guys, I'm blending in. I'm, that's why I walk like that. Not sure I talked to Lyrath, but do you think that all these people are members of the Waking Flame? I'm getting that impression, at least from everyone that isn't you, me, or Lyrinth. What's she doing over there, I wonder? Traitor. Anyway, since they all seem comfortable and excited to be sipping wine in the Deadlands, how could they not be cultists? Good point, good point. Let's go and chat to her. Ah, little mortal. I was wondering when you were going to arrive. And where did you get that outfit? Is that really what passes for the height of fashion among the Tamriel elite this century? Savage. I do prefer her outfit, to be honest. Never mind about my outfit, Lareth. What are you doing here? I told you I had my own avenues of investigation. Why does it surprise you that I would be on hand for Vandacia's major announcement? Besides, the Dagoness who gave me this coin was only too happy to let me take it from her cold, dead hand. Nice one, brother. Did they not suspect that you're a sus Daedra entering the party? Uh, it's based in the second era in the Tam the Elder Scrolls timeline, which is, I think, the second time Dagon's trying to invade Tamriel. I can't remember exactly. So before the events of Oblivion, where he tries and fails again, do you know when Vendacia is going to reveal at this event? Or do you know what it is? Not exactly. Hmm. I haven't been able to move about as freely as I would like. I don't want to reveal myself to Dagon's Dromora any sooner than I have to. But some of these mortals believe that Vandacia has finally found one of the ambitions. We learnt as much from the other person we spoke to. You think he did? As I understand it, he has been looking for them ever since Emperor Leovic's death. I suggest you take advantage of that disguise you're wearing and see what you can find out before Vandacia begins this extravaganza. I shall remain close by. Alright, let's go and see what we can find out. I have actually talked to any of these people. The Lord of Fire and Flood has blessed our holdings a thousandfold, yet Van Dace. Hello there. Isn't it exciting? This. Isn't it exciting? Where is the man with the deep voice? Greetings. Hello there. Perhaps when this is all over, we can stop hiding. I look forward to proudly proclaiming my place in the Order of the. I've been Councillor Vandacia's most ardent supporter. Even when some of the others called for a new vision, I urged patience. And see? We'll all soon be rewarded. Not sus at all. He's got the same creepy gauntlets. And you, lady? It is good to finally see a return on our investment. Vin Everyone loves him. Absolutely brown nosing him. Be careful. I don't think they want us wandering around on our own. Oh, I put my armor on. Nice one, brother. A law book discovered. It's going to sneak mode then. Oh, oh, I see an enemy. Get wrecked, son! It doesn't just take lives, it takes souls. Oh, she doesn't like that? 
Miri doesn't like it when I assassinate people. Your camp companion... Oh, one second, so let's talk to her. She did not like me Change assassinating people. She still likes us a little bit more, though. All right, okay, then. She's not okay with me taking souls of the enemies. I guess we'll have to kill them normally. Yeah. All right, let's try for mummy. Whoa! I'm gonna go this way. I'm gonna assassinate this guy anyway. Don't really... Oh no, she's spotted. Damn it. Miri's leveled up. That's good, isn't it? Die! Die! Take this. That's decent. You guys see that? True Swan, Vandasius' personal guard. I dealt with them back at Leovic's retreat, the place where I found this strange book. Ah, oh, okay. Oh, 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 oh! Take a bow right to the back of the head. Big oof. Give me this bookshelf. Okay, we're through. See what we find in the audience hall. What are the new terms and conditions, dude? Wonga, fill me in. Yeah, the nice thing is, is that if you do buy the game, there's like an option for new players to get all of the DLC, which is just a ridiculous. I'll tell you what I told Vendacia. I'm Sombrin. And I won't perform for the pleasure of a Dagon cult. Okay, bro. So, Vendacia has let some of his pet nobles come by to gawk at his prize. Away, you vultures! We're not nobles. We're here to stop whatever Vandacia has planned. There aren't enough of you to stop Vandacia. He has an army of elite soldiers, crazed cultists, and daedric creatures given to him by Merun's Dagon personally. You're hopelessly outclassed. What about, what's your role in all of this? Me? I'm the main event at this infernal affair. Vondacia plans to sacrifice me to his daedric prince, referred to me as one of the four ambitions of Merun's Dagon. Apparently they think my death will grant them all unlimited power. Sounds like a big scam from Dagon to me. Is this what you are, one of the ambitions? I don't know. Maybe. My mentor used that term once or twice, but I never paid it much mind. Look, to stop Vondacia, you need to get me out of here. Find the key to unlock these chains. Ken Reeve Deserog has a copy. His chambers to the north. You get the right. key. I'll stay here and watch over Sombrin. Oh, yeah, I'm sure you were why he's all tied up here. Hmm, yeah. Oh, there's not a door behind him. Ha 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 ha. Alright, I'll change the personality walk, guys. So I know. Uh, where is it? Collections, personalities. We'll go for zombie, yeah? Is that better? I think, I think you prefer that one, yeah? 300 likes! Thank you so much, guys! Thanks for... For encouraging people to like it in the chat as well. I think the link says that it doesn't sell my info, but I may be wrong. Pretty sure it, they don't sell your info, but I mean, you know, these days that's how most companies make money. Okay, we've got to go right down here and into this room. Ooh! Oh, very kinky. Oh my god. We're in time for the show. Really don't like your odds. You'll do nothing. Mask of Torment. Companion ability unlocked. We'll have a look into that later. And talk a bit more about her. And what she can do. Surprise! Daedric cult worshippers. An empty chest. Disgusting. Is 
This guy just chilling out, minding her own business. 10 out of 10 dodge though. Why am I not hitting her right now? What's happening? Okay, that was weird. There's been a lot of desync since this new chapter came out. Like usually this game seems a lot more responsive. Get wrecked, witch! A Daedra heart. I'm still here. Thanks for asking. A map of Tamriel. It's like Dagon's wet dream right there. Watching this is nudging me to get back into ESO. Awesome, dude. There's a link below for 15% off if you do want a discount on the new chapter. And obviously you get the pre-order bonuses as well. Sneaky, no sneaky! No is allowed here. Not even the high priest. Assassin! Destroy him! Wait, wait. I thought he was going to turn into something. Prisoner key, eh? Looks like quite a charming place, though. Now we have the key, we can go back and save our friend. One of the ambitions. I don't know what his unique ability is. Being one of the ambitions, I'm just, he's kind of like a demigod in some way. Has like some kind of godlike Daedric power that we're not really fully aware of what that is yet. Does the tail do anything? What, you mean my Khajiit tail? No, sadly not. It is, but... I'm glad it, it exists, but it doesn't actually have any purpose. Argonians also have tails, though. I guarantee that something's gone wrong. Evely has, has failed her mission, probably. Couldn't be that simple. Now, I am reading both chats here. Hey, over here! What's happened? We're too late. While you were searching for the key, Van Dacy arrived and called in the nobles. He started his presentation. Well, I found the key. Great, but it's not like we can just walk in there and... Wait a moment, that's it! What are you thinking? If we can cause a panic, get those nobles to run around screaming, that should create enough of a diversion for you to use that key and set Sombrin free. We just need to accomplish that before Van Dacia gets to the part where he sacrifices Sombrin. Yeah, that's pretty essential. Do you have anything in mind? Take these Reekers. They're beetles similar to dewbugs. Very tasty, though they release a foul odor when they die. I was saving them for later, but I'll get more. Place them around the hall. Then, when you give the signal, I'll lose some arrows. What was she saving them for? Sounds like a plan. Just drop the Reekers around the perimeter of the chamber. Once you've placed them, give me the signal and wait for the clouds of stench to clear the room. Then you wow. can set Sombrin free. I hope you can hold your breath, though. You seem to know a lot about these bugs. We had an infestation in my village when I was a little girl. If you know how to do it, you can kill them without causing a stink. They're quite delicious. But if you just crush them or stick them with an arrow, phew, that's what we're counting on. Okay. Place That's the pretty grim. The chamber. The oh, is that creepy soundtrack again? No. Brothers Can we watch? and sisters of the waking flame, behold our future. This is one of the fabled four ambitions of Merun's Dagon, and his death will elevate us all, like the others of his kind. He was created from birth for one purpose. To give us his power and grant our Dark Lord a connection to the mortal plane. I wonder what happens if you just don't do it. Like, does he die? <laughs> does he get sacrificed? That would be an oof, wouldn't it? Whose bag is this? Oh, Evie's. Nice shot. 
Let's grab Interrupt someone and get out of here. Interrupt this sacred ceremony. Thank you. Destroy Thank you. them! Counselor, this Getting way. way. Before the Odin overwhelms. Now go. I will Run away. Off with you, Squid. Don't worry. We will easily dispatch these enemies. Wizard, that's a very nice circle you have there. I want the full ESO experience. Or is it like from a new player? Yeah, the acting, the voice acting in this game is really good. I've never played an MMO with such good voice acting, to be honest. But like, it really sells it. So I very much enjoy the game just for the storyline. Not just like the MMO aspects. It's quite a good, like, you know, as a solo game to play. You can very much play it like an Elder Scrolls game, which is which is quite nice. If you enjoy the stories, very enjoyable indeed. Oof. Here we are. Ooh, that was a bit of a warm up. Warm up, eh? I think consoles again. Stop them! Recapture the ambition at all costs! Get They're coming for us. We need to get out of here. I can't. I'm too exhausted. He's useless. I'll help Sombrin. You need to deal with those Dramora. These Dramora are going well. I shall deal with you myself. We'll see about that. Finish him. Do you want to brag about that, or should I? I open a portal, little mortal. Take your companions and leave this place. We should have done that earlier. I guarantee it. I guarantee it. She always tells me that. The soundtrack is so creepy, dude. The the base game is like ten dollars, man. It's so cheap. Okay, let's chat to our companions. Now we've survived Remind that ordeal. Never to get dressed up for a romp through oblivion again. This fancy outfit threw off my aim ever so slightly. What do you think? Should we take Sorbonne into Gideon? I think we have to. We've got three of the four ambitions. Now we just need to figure out what to do with them. And keep them out of Vandacia's hands. I feel like we're doing what he wants and like collecting them all in one place. And then that'll be like the problem. That goes without saying. Take Sorbonne to the Temple of Debella in Gideon. That's where Keshu was going to hide the twins. Then meet me at the governor's mansion. I want to let Keshu know what happened. Very well. Thank you for getting me out of that place. I am in your debt. Can you tell me where you came from? How did Vandacia capture you? <sighs> that story would take too long to tell. Let's just say I made the mistake of returning to a place where I once lived. I wasn't paying attention. Suddenly I was surrounded by Vandacia's cultists. They overpowered me and I woke up in chains. Basic backstory. I should take you to the other ambitions. Yes, I would like to meet these other ambitions. Find out who they are, what we are, and learn more about this power Von Dacia seems intent on taking from us. Lead on, and I will follow. Take Sombrin to the Temple of Debella, then meet me at the Governor's Mansion. Lead the way, my friend. Why am I taking him to the Temple of Dibella? He's a bit... What are we going to do with him, huh? Take him straight to the temple of the sex god. Yes. All right, Everly. Calm down. Greetings. This guy looks awesome. I like his outfit. He's very blue. He's going through the emo phase, but I like it. Big fan. I too went through the Go, emo my phase. Go see Everly. The twins and I have much to discuss. I'm Destron, and this is my sister, Kalia. 
But who are you? My name is Sombrin, and I, like you, am an ambition. Another ambition? Truly? How very nice to meet you. Wow, you really do have a lot to say to each other. Wow. Amazing. That was the well. extent of their conversation. <laughs> My god. <laughs> Could have done something else. Giving me some kind of revelation to the plot. Alright, let's go and chat to our friend and see what is next. Governor's Mansion. Did you get Sombrin settled into the temple? Did you introduce him to the twins? Sombrin is safe in the temple with the twins. Perfect. I was telling the governor everything that happened. How we traveled to the Deadlands and stopped Vandacia from sacrificing the third ambition. We need to figure out our next move. Oh, before I forget, here's your share of our compensation. Uh, a necklace. I feel like she just keeps giving me random junk she finds on our adventures together. You have done well so far, mercenary. Now we must speak. Alright, Yoda. <laughs> you have done well so far, mercenary. Now speak to you, I shall. Every stone tossed into a pond causes ripples. The oh. stones you have thrown have caused waves. As much as I wish to assist you, I need to think of Gideon and its safety. We're making waves, guys. Making waves. What do you mean, Governor? My spy master tells me that Councillor Von Dacia still has eyes in the city. Surprise. That even now we fear he is aware that we harbor the ambitions. That he gathers his cultists to assault Gideon. The presence of the ambitions puts my people at risk. What do you want me to do? Obviously not have them here. Keep the ambitions safe, but we need to find a better place to hide them. Talk to the ambitions. Perhaps the third one you rescued. Sombrin, was it? Evely said he wasn't locked in a vault when the cult found him. Maybe he knows more than the twins. I'll go and talk to the ambitions. I would never turn away anyone in need. We will protect the ambitions for as long as we can. Yet I fear my legionnaires will not be able to hold off Bondacia's forces should they attack. Go to the Temple of Debella when you are ready to talk to them. Why are you suddenly worried about his forces attacking? My spy master reports a flurry of activity that is troublesome, and Gideon is not the fortress it once was. Even so, my Blackfin Legion will give as good as it gets. Better even. What most concerns me is the possibility of treachery. Looks at me. Treachery? Vandacia's family is powerful and has deep roots in Blackwood. His spies and political allies fill Gideon like wine fills a goblet. Mm. And not all of them are cultists, at least not openly. I fear the enemy we cannot see more than the one we can. Oh, she's so wise! My God. I have high hopes for Stifield. I don't think it's going to be like No Man's Sky when it releases. I'm going to be excited for Danny's playthrough. Let's ride. I'm excited too, man. Though, you know, it's it's not going to be Fallout 76. I don't think. A lot of Bethesda's games at launch are rocky, and then usually modders fix a lot of the issues. Obviously, we had uh, Fallout 76 was an online game, so it had a lot of issues at launch, and Bethesda themselves had to fix it. I've not played it since, really. Um, but I'm very excited for Starfield because it's a single player Bethesda game and I'm excited to hear more about it but to be honest we don't really know what it is yet we like you know I know it's going to have spaceship building I know it's going to have um, exploration and Bethesda style quests and storyline and it's going to be a new IP to explore maybe with some references to Skyrim and Fallout like there are with the intertwining Nern Roots references and stuff like that. Just hints. Though I think they'll be subtle hints. I also think we'll be able to build like bases and probably have a settlement system since Bethesda has developed it so much for Fallout 4 
and Fallout 76, I would not be surprised if we see like a full settlement system in Starfield. I'm going to be streaming um, the Bethesda Xbox show on Sunday next month, so I'll probably put up like a stream and announce it on Twitter. If you want to watch it with me, you're more than welcome. It's going to be exciting. I'm sure they're going to show something Starfield related because it's on like the uh, teaser artwork they have. Um, we've got the same planet as the one from the trailer, so I wouldn't be surprised at all if we see Starfield, um, some kind of gameplay. Though I, I don't know how close it is. I don't actually think it will come out this year unless there's a huge reveal thing. I'd be quite surprised. Um, I wouldn't, like, it'll definitely come out next year um, if it's not at the end of this year. But they would like literally need to go full on after E3, I think. We heard a lot about the marketing and stuff. The marketing team at Xbox and Bethesda grouping up to do some stuff together and also buying ad space for Starfield. Or, well, add space for a game that Bethesda will be releasing. And only assume it would be Starfield. You wouldn't buy ad space that early ahead of uh, the launch. So, this year isn't off the books. But we'll see. Okay. Let's go into the Temple of Diabella and have a orgy. What go on, Kalia. Do you want? Unleash your power. Just like back in the Sanctum. All right. If you say so. Something's wrong. Pull back, Kalia. Pull back! I can't! Hold on. Let me help. There. How did you do that? Practice. <laughs> I trained to control my powers after I left my vault. They didn't leave the vaults. When I was freed from my vault, it took months for my own power to reach such levels, and then it nearly destroyed me. I'm surprised Kali has gotten to that point so quickly after her release. Why did Kali lose control like that? Our powers grow exponentially once we leave the protection of the vaults. It's what they were constructed for. But Kali's power has advanced much faster than mine did. It almost consumed her. If not for my mentor, the same would have befallen me. How did you get out of your vault? And what about a mentor? When Duke Varen's forces came through, they set me free. To them, I was just another political prisoner. I wandered without a purpose for a time until my power reached a level similar to what you saw here. That's when my mentor found me. Ah. 500 likes on the chopping block. Thanks for liking the video, guys. Appreciate that, man. Hey, Danny, how are you doing? I'm good, mate. I'm very, very well. Feeling a lot better compared to like the last couple of days. It will probably be a day one Game Pass as well, I imagine. It is. That is confirmed. Starfield will be on Game Pass at launch along with The Elder Scrolls 6. They, they're not saying anything about it being... Ex like, they've not confirmed that it's like exclusive to Xbox, but they keep talking about the Xbox ecosystem and it being on Xbox and PC at launch. We might even see early access on Xbox. I wouldn't be surprised at all to see that. Um, so, yeah, I don't think it's coming to PlayStation. I'd be extremely surprised. That would literally be the surprise of the year, a miracle if it comes to PlayStation. Do you think this mentor can help Kalia and Destron learn to control their powers? I assume he's dead. I don't see why not. Plus, it will probably be safer if the three of us leave for a while. There's an old shrine northwest of here. Let's meet there. I suggest you tell your Wood Elf companion where we're going. She seems like the sort to worry. Oh, good idea. Find us in the marsh to the northwest. I'll take Kali and Destron and meet you at the shrine. Don't worry. I'll protect them. The cultists won't surprise me again. Just let your Wood Elf friend know that we have the twins and we'll keep them safe. What do you mean when you say Kalia's power will consume her? Why do you think Emperor Leovic had those vaults constructed? They contain and limit our power. Without them, the power would grow and expand until it destroyed us. The vaults were supposed to keep us alive long enough to learn to control our power. It sounds like the purpose of these ambitions is not only that they could be used to free uh, Merun and Stagon, but also potentially if they can control their powers. They could trap him in oblivion or return him to oblivion or banish him but it would kill them in the process that seems to be like the storyline that i'm seeing here 
And why was Verandica planning to kill you? Right. About that. Obviously, what I thought I knew and the truth aren't exactly the same. Regardless, without the protection of the vault, Kalia's and Destron's powers will eventually kill them. Could you imagine that? You can visit Tamriel and stuff. <laughs> that would be fucking nuts. <laughs> yeah, that would be great if there was like some secret Easter egg planet. Like, you know in Doom when they have those levels where you like go back to the first Doom game and everything's like, you know, like 2D and stuff? Dude, if they had that, that would be a sick Easter egg. Do you believe your mentor can teach them to control their powers? She was able to train me. She also had a method for suppressing my power until I can contain it on my own. Without her, I wouldn't be here today. She can help Destron and Kalia. I'm sure of it. Governor Keshu suggested we might want to leave Gideon for a while. The governor is wise. A moving target is harder to hit than a stationary one. And if we're no longer inside the city, Vondasius cultists have no reason to attack it. He's so smart. Why did you wind up locked in the Deadlands, by the way? I wasn't paying attention. My mentor warned me that I was going to be hunted, but I didn't listen. I returned to my old vault to see if I could learn more about who and what I am. The cultist ambushed me, knocked me out before I could respond. Tell me about your mentor. I was raised in a vault, just like the twins. Isolated, ignorant of the world outside. All I knew was that I was different, special somehow. Duke Varen's forces set me free when I was 16. My mentor found me some months later. How did that come about? I fell in with mercenaries, wandering and learning to fight even as my power grew. I was beginning to lose control when my mentor appeared. She was a shaman of sorts. She taught me how to master my power, but she never referred to me as an ambition. I still don't understand how she found you. She said she had been looking for me. She knew of Merun's Dagon's interest in a hidden secret and had been searching for it. But it wasn't until my power began to manifest outside the vault that she was able to locate me. She saved my life. That was terrifying. I've never felt anything like that, ever. Nothing like that ever occurred during our training in the Sanctum. What's happening to me? What were you trying to do, huh? My gift is fire. Summoning flames is as natural as breathing. In the vault, it was always just a spark or a simple flicker. But when I tried to hit the target, I couldn't control it. The fire inside me, it wanted to grow, to spread, to feed. How do you feel now? I'm fine. A, a bit lightheaded, maybe. Whatever Sombrin did, it put the fire out, at least for now. I don't like this. What if next time I summon the power, no one can help me extinguish it? I could hurt Destron. I could burn Gideon to the ground. We won't let that happen. Who <laughs> just leaves conversation? Our power seems to be getting stronger. Harder to control. If not for Sombrin, Kalia's own power might have consumed her. Is this our punishment for abandoning our sanctum? Uh, I don't think you're being punished. No, probably not. But we're definitely getting stronger. You saw what I did in the Sanctum. My power is lightning, but after seeing how Kalia lost control, I'm hesitant to use it out here. I will, though, if I'm called upon to defend my sister. Oh, such a noble white knight you are. <laughs> All right, then. Let's head over to this, uh, this shrine, this ancient shrine that, that we discussed. Actually, no, we've got to go report back to... Uh, our friends to tell them that we're leaving the city, though I'm a bit hey, sus about I'm over here. her motives. Keshu told me to take a thinking break. It helps to take a break sometimes, you know, from thinking, so you can think better later. Anyway, yes. how are the ambitions doing? Have you figured out a better place to hide them? Under my bed. Sombrun has an idea, but the twins are losing control of their powers. Well, that sounds bad, obviously. What happened? Kalia almost burned down the temple, but Sombra knows someone who can help her. Oh, I knew there was a reason we plucked him out of Vandasius' fortress Gotta go into in the, the swamps to find Yoda. I mean, other than preventing a human sacrifice. So who is this helpful person? Sombra's mentor, a nameless person that will meet outside Gideon. Stick close to them. You need to keep the ambition safe and out of Vandasius' clutches. 
While you're away, I'm going to continue helping Keshu's Blackfin Legion. And I want to be around when my cousins from Valenwood finally arrive. Good luck! I'm impartial to uh, Xbox and PlayStation. I've always, like, since I grew up being an Xbox gamer, I had a PlayStation 1, like, secondhand. That was, like, my first console. Um, and then I got a PlayStation 2 secondhand. But um, the first console I actually, like, got for my birthday was an Xbox 360. Um, and that, that was, like, amazing because I got Oblivion on that and um, Gears of War 1. Two, like, absolutely incredible games that have grown to be, you know, like, huge IPs. Um, so Xbox, like, holds a special place in my heart for that reason. So I, I'm, I'm like, you know, obviously love consoles. I think they make gaming very accessible, but PC gaming just doesn't compare. Like, you've got, like, 60 FPS. You can do everything. It's so much easier to record and make content on a PC, obviously. Um, and just connection-wise with apps and add-ons, like, even on the Elder Scrolls Online, it's just, like, literally, like, once you go PC, you can't really go back in that sense. But it's definitely more expensive to update hardware over time um, to sort of keep up with the master race of PC gaming. Yeah, Nintendo's great. Still love Nintendo. Just because the games on it um, are so nostalgic to me, like Pokemon and whatnot. But yeah, like, I, I don't think Starfield will come to um, nice PlayStation. I think people who think that are just killing themselves. It doesn't make sense as a business option. It doesn't make any sense. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, wait and see. Like, it doesn't bother me if people believe it. All I ask is that you all keep an open mind. Well, what's he gonna do? Just like Hadouken! That's a Dramora. Sombrin, what's going on here? Traitor! Easy, kill him! Everyone, this is Zaina. She can help us. Mercenary, why don't you speak to her? Interesting. I didn't expect to hear from Sombrin again after he left, despite my advice. But to find him in the presence of a powerful mortal and two other ambitions. But where are my manners? Greetings, mortal. I am Zyna. Sombrin says you mentored him, helped him control his powers. And so I did. I sensed his need and offered my assistance. He learned well, and as he will tell you, I never betrayed him. Is that why he has summoned me? Because those other two ambitions now face the same danger that almost consumed him? Yes, Grandma. Thanks. Thanks, dude. Appreciate that, man. Yeah, I do I, I do recognize your name. Yes, you want to make sure Kalia and Destron don't destroy themselves with their own power. Then you must bring them to my sanctuary. They are far trap. more than anything you can imagine. The trap. I helped Sombrin because I didn't want to see him fall into Mehrun's Dagon's hands or destroy himself with his own power. I will do the same for the others. Where's your sanctuary? I hide in the Deadlands. Yes, Dagon's realm. But I have ways to protect us. Before you bring them, they must be attuned to this realm. Find slivers of the Deadlands lodged in your world. Sombrin will show you how to use them to attune the ambitions. That's pretty cool. As I said, Zyna helped me. And she can help Kalia and Destron. You just have to trust her. And if you can't trust her, trust me. <laughs> you should have told us your mentor was a Dramora, traitor. Forgive me, but in my experience, most of Nern takes a dark view of Dramora. Zyna found me when I was at my worst. If she wanted me dead, she could have killed me years ago or just let me destroy myself. Instead, she helped me. Taught me control. I know Dramora. She must want something from you. Oh, of that I'm certain. Competition in the Deadlands is fierce, especially among the non-aligned Dramora. I know that she seeks allies to call upon when the need arises. Having three ambitions who owe you a favor? Oh, that's like gold to Zyna. Tell me about this achievement process Zyna was talking about. Let me mark your map. Zyna told me where to find these slivers of the Deadlands. These settlements need your I help. Dagon cultists often enshrine these shards whenever they find them. You'd be surprised how often chunks of oblivion make their way to Nern. 
And what do we do with these silver sil slivers once we find them? I'll describe the process when you return. I need to prepare a portal at a place where the planar boundaries are thin. Take Kalia and Destron and gather the slivers. Then I can attune them to the Deadlands. All right. Our powers interact strangely with the natural forces of the Deadlands. That's why we need to be attuned. Of course, I underwent the process years ago. Now we must help the twins do the same. Keep them safe, then meet me on the road south of Gideon. So I don't need to be attuned. Yeah, he literally just said that. No, you're not an ambition. Besides, you've been to the Deadlands already and suffered no ill effects. If the twins attempted that before we attuned them, the plane would rip them apart. Our power is connected to Mehrun's Dagon in some way. And what does that mean? I'm not entirely sure. I just know that there's some element of Mehrun's Dagon inside us, and it wants to return whence it came. I think that's what Von Dacia hoped to accomplish by killing me. Anyway, I'd rather not see that happen to any of us. Goodbye. Maybe they're Ulevic sons. I suppose we must trust in Sombrin's experience. He knows quite a lot more about our powers than we do. I think we should trust the Daedra. Does it matter? I felt the power inside me when I lost control back at the temple. I couldn't stop it. If Sombrin hadn't suppressed my flames, I would have ignited the city. Unless you know another way to fix me, I don't think we have a choice. Good point. We done? Let's find these objects from the Deadlands as Sombrin's mentor suggested. If it helped, no. Alright, let's go and find them then. We don't need to have every character tell Can us that we should go and Kalia? find them. We're going to be great heroes. What's heroic about being consumed by our own powers? Zyna taught Sombrin to control his powers. She'll do the same for us. If the cultists are our own powers, don't... What if Zyna only wants to use Come us now, for sister, our powers? Come where's your from? sense of advantage? She can't force us. You heard her. She needs allies, and we're as powerful as they come. I've read the stories. Packs with Daedra never turn out well. I'll protect you, Kalia. You have my word. Silly little brother. I'm the one who protects you. <laughs> I'm the one who protects you. True story. Literally just like, go to this part of the map. Go to this part of the map and grab these stones. And now we are done. So where are we meeting him? Over here, apparently. Okay. How far away is that? It's quite far. Let us travel over there. I think the Daedra can be trusted, yes. Even though we know they're in it for their own personal goals. Is that G Fuel? Is your mount on G Fuel? Yes, it's got 60% movement speed. Tons of stamina. It is literally powered by G Fuel. Discount code ESO. Code in the description. Click the link. I think it would be great to have these DLCs and mods just part of the ESO game. What, what do you mean? Like, uh, you mean like Skyrim or? What's your all-time favorite title? What is in like video games in general or Elder Scrolls game? I probably spent like the most amount of time playing Skyrim and modding it, but like I have like a soft place in my heart for Oblivion because obviously that was the game that got me into the Elder Scrolls and also I found like a lot of the quests and also the story to be really enjoyable and I, I think there's something that feels like a lot more real about, who's this? The roads here may look... A uh, merchant. Okay, let's go really sell some stuff, guys. Um, I think there's something to be said for fantasy games like The Elder Scrolls that um, actually don't have you playing as the hero all of the time. Like in Skyrim, you know, you're the Dragonborn, you're the hero, and you're you're the only person who can save um, Skyrim from and Tamriel from annihilation, you know, um, and and stop stop the dragons. Um, but that that kind of gets a bit obvious and boring because you're the only person who can save the day. And there's don't get me wrong, like we all have our own god complex. We love to be a super powerful character. But I think, like, with Oblivion, what appealed to me was the fact that 
I wasn't actually, you know, I was the hero of Kvatch. I did save Kvatch because uh, I was in the right place at the right time. But in terms of the storyline, it was Martin who was the hero to, like, you know, go and face um, Dagon and send him back to Oblivion um, and become, like, you know, Akatosh um, with the blood of the, the Emperor's bloodline and all, all this cool stuff. I thought this was, like, really impressive. Um, it, it would have lost a lot of appeal to me, though, if it was me that did all of that. Um, but kind of being the side character that had to help the main character, I thought was very appealing. Um, which is why why I really enjoyed that main questline, actually over Skyrim. Because it was just a lot less obvious. Um, and it was, yeah, really enjoyable. Just got ESO with Greenmore and Morrowind for £10. There you go, man. Check the link below for those kind of discounts. Destron, stop! This is serious! Relax, Kalia. We're on an adventure. Destron, be serious. Our own powers could destroy us! That won't happen. I won't let it. It might not be up to you. Kalia... We'll figure this out. We're doing this to avoid all that. Did you gather the slivers? I did indeed. You found the Deadland slivers? Good. I set up the portal at the top of the hill behind me. Alatoon, Kalia, and Destron. Then we can make our way to the summit. What should I be doing while you attune the twins? I need you to deal with a complication for me. Well, I mean, you can still be an overpowered hero in Oblivion. Um, you can still, you know, use powers and whatnot. But you, in fact, I mean, you can literally make godlike spells that are absolutely ridiculous in Oblivion that turn you into a god mode with legitimate, legitimate gameplay, more so than you ever could in Skyrim if you know what you're doing. But um, yeah, we all like being overpowered and stuff, but that, that's not what I mean. I mean it from like a story perspective, you know, like that you're just not playing the hero uh, and everyone that you walk past in Skyrim's like, oh, you're the hero of Kavat. I mean, not Kavat. Um, the hero of this and that or your dragonborn and sometimes it's like everyone's just begging you you know and it, it's a little bit like over the top like not too realistic but i don't know i like a mix of both and i enjoy both games for different reasons i just think i prefer oblivion because i the storyline was a bit cooler a complication creatures were drawn to the hillside by my actions could you make sure the path to the top is clear the last thing we need is for some mundane and random threat to provoke a response from Kalio really? destron yeah, okay, great. I'll go and clear the way of whatever might be there. This is the hilltop, okay. I'm just gonna run to the top of the hill and clear it. I'm not I'm gonna leave these critters alive. The wildlife shouldn't be harmed. Oh, what's this? A wasamu. Oh, there's a chest, we've gotta take the chest, guys. That has to be done. You must die for this chest, Wasamu. Surprise! Now give me the treasure. Dude, is this working? I cannot fail. It's impossible. Oh, an ice staff with frost buttons. One frosty staff, please. Almost at the top of the hill. The Plateau of the Traveller. Discovered. Yeah, this does look like a sacrificial platform of some kind. Alright, just like we discussed. Focus on the slivers of Deadlands. It's working! Oh. I've never travelled by portal before. Uh, quick, step inside. Follow when you're ready, friend. Yolo, here we go. To the Ashen Forest we go. Making your own spells in Oblivion was absolutely incredible. I love that. Dude, this looks insanely cool. They absolutely nailed the Deadlands. Like, considering... Considering, like... Black Marsh is kind of just seems a bit like, I don't know, Cyrodiil, like a bit hilly and not much going on. This looks incredible. I greet you, mortal. 
As with Sombrin, I shall do all that I can to aid the twins. But first, they must survive the Ashen Forest. They must walk the path of the obelisks. Tell me about these trials. What's the path of the obelisk? Before I can teach them to contain their power, they must first come to understand it. The path of the obelisks will help them do so. They must visit the three ancient oracles and learn the truths that each will reveal. And what's my role in this? Protect the twins from the dangers of the forest. They cannot unleash their power safely until they have learned to control it. At each obelisk, you will bear witness to the truths they learn. Come to me when all is said and done. Then we shall see. I'll protect the twins and witness what they learn. The power of these two ambitions grows with every passing moment. You must hurry. The path begins to the northwest. Look for the obelisks of origin, empowerment, and inevitability. Each will reveal a hidden truth. What are you doing in the Deadlands? The Dramora of my clan have dwelt in the Deadlands for ages, uncounted. This is the seat of my power, just as it is Mehrun's Dagon's. My purposes, however, are my own. But you don't serve Dagon. Allegiances among Daedra are not as simple as they are in the mortal world. Let us just say that I do not wish to see Mehrun's Dagon succeed in this endeavor. The ambitions must not fall into his hands. What will the twins learn from these obelisks? I cannot say for certain. Their truths are their own, not mine. Yet I know that they must walk this path. A mortal cannot become what they are meant to be without first understanding what they are. Much remains hidden from these two ambitions. That's some deep writing there. There's, that's some deep writing to real life as well. A mortal, not, a mortal cannot become what they are meant to be without first understanding what they are. Dude, that's like tr so true for real life, man. She's not wrong there. Alright then. Let's go and help them out with the obelisks. Gotta go over here. Watch out, a Dramora in the Deadlands. Kill it with fire. Lol, they're just cowering in fear whenever I enter combat. Don't worry, I'll I'll protect you. I guess this is a fight now. Well done. <laughs> well done! <laughs> oh, I love these enemies. We've only fought them one of them before, but... They look awesome. I mean, look at this guy. Oh, he died. Just, I love it. It looks so cool. Reminds me of the Elder Scrolls Oblivion going through the Oblivion gates. Very cool. That must be the first obelisk. I'm just gonna Prepare yourself, brother. press it. Well, something's happening. The babes are asleep? Oh, I couldn't get the boy to stop bawling. I fed the twins until they were full and exhausted. Your Majesty, welcome. The babes are healthy and strong. As commanded, my Emperor. She bore twins. As Merun's Dagon commanded, so it has been done. Our parents and the High Priest? I don't understand. I do. You guys were essentially promised a Dagon at birth. Anything good in here? Oh, decorative wax. Very nice. Seems like all of these children were in some way connected to Dagon, which is where they got their power from at birth. And that's why they were encapsulated in these vaults so their power could be controlled. And now they're out of these vaults, they're trying to figure out what I their purpose is. is the obelisk of empowerment. Activated, Let's click it. If you would, friend. It's starting. Time for the final ritual, my emperor. Proceed, high priest. Oh, Merun's Dagon, prince of ambition and destruction, Imbue these infants with your power! Let it ripen and grow within these vessels until the appointed time. As so Dagon wills let it. it be done. They killed the parents. Our parents?
gods were sacrificed to Mayrun's Dagon? Why? That was the ritual. That's pretty grim, isn't it? Like, fucking hell, man. Imagine that as like a ritual. You could turn your child into a demigod, but you had to sacrifice yourself like that. Would you do it? I hope you're watching. Rex scamp. Another big boy over here. Why are they attacking us? Why do you think they're actually like protecting the realm of oblivion? They're just creatures that are pissed at our mortal arrival. Ooh! Zayfly. Yeah. Like how he just that drops down and immediately dies. Big oof for him, eh? This is the last shrine. That portal opened on its own. Suppose we should step inside. Seems pretty sus. Don't know about that. Okay, I guess you guys are going inside, so I'll need to protect you. I look drunk in my idol stance. You're right. Like, when you just randomly wave your... Like, you kind of look cool like this, like, when you're standing still, but sometimes you just, like, wave your arms around a bit crazily. It does look a bit like you're drunk. There is a drunk one as well, but I think we'll go back to Assassin, because that's just, like, you look so calm and collected and awesome. Very appropriate for my Khajiit character, anyway. You also do little dagger tricks ah, as well. This must be the day you learn you are destined to fail. That I and the Waking Flame emerged victorious. No. Destron, is that us up there? And Mehrun's Dagon? Is this our future, Kalia? Is this inevitable? There's a lot of bodies down here. This is awesome, man. He's like harnessing their power and he's the emperor. Well, at least we'd have someone on the ruby throne to stop the civil war. That's his goal. Oh, look, Dagon's up there. I didn't even see him. <laughs> he's just chilling out, looking through the window. Look, he looks so happy. He's like... Drink G Fuel. <laughs> Oh man, look at him. Why is he so happy? He's just like, yeah, this is great. Oh man, he's having a great time, isn't he? How long ago was it? When I crushed you and claimed the ambitions for myself. It must be rather depressing to see that all your efforts were in vain. That my victory is inevitable. So this is the potential future that we can obviously stop. The other vision showed the twins pass. Why is this one different? Visions? You must understand the forces with which you meddle. Given your failures before you died, that doesn't surprise me. You entered the portal at the obelisk of inevitability in the Deadlands. What could be more inevitable than the future? You're telling me you won. That you now sit on the ruby throne. Look around and see for yourself. The very fact that you stand before me proves that you didn't stop me. You didn't save the ambitions. You didn't save anyone. I destroyed you. Now this realm belongs to my lord and master Mehrun's Dagon. As if he had let a puppet rule over the mortal realm instead of him. The lord of destruction. This is a lie. When I find you, I'll destroy you. Nothing is inevitable. You haven't won yet. Then I might as well kill you now. You still do not understand. This isn't your time or place. Here you are nothing but dust long forgotten. You are a ghost of failures past. As much as I would enjoy it, I can't kill that which is already dead. Dude, this guy looks insane. I need to take a print screen right now. 
It looks so cool. Alright, there we go. Goodbye. Mercenary, time to go. Through the portal, quickly. Run along. Go back to your time and put your affairs in order. It won't be long before we meet in battle. When I crush you like the pathetic churl you are. We shall see each other again soon enough. I assume he has the last ambition because he must have some kind of power to battle against us. And let's go back in here. Wait, can we go through here? What's here? Does this take me to the portals of the Arab Ashen Forest? I was going to say, this is actually the Imperial Throne Room, if you look around. Pretty damn awesome, man. Love that. Let's go back through the portal. What up, bro? Bandista. Hey, tell it up. He had us displayed like trophies. We saw our future. We're doomed. Snap out of it. What you saw was just one possible inevitability. Nothing is set in stone. Can't be a possible inevitability if it's impossible. If it's inevitable. I didn't think that was how my story was going to end. I really thought we were going to win. Despite appearances, this isn't over yet, Destin. Isn't it? You saw the Prince of Destruction. How can we hope to fight something like that, let alone his High Priest? Maybe it's better if we just let our powers consume us. At least then Vandacia won't be able to claim us. A solid option, to be honest. Just here to like the stream, then gonna go watch part one now. Good luck on your endeavors. Thank you so much, dude. Thanks for coming to like the video. I appreciate that, man. <laughs> like a father watching a video his son is showing him. <laughs> That's jokes. Destroying yourself isn't the answer. You need to learn to control your powers and stand with me. Now you sound like Kalia and Sombrin. You're right, though. We've immediately we changed have power his mind. Beyond anything From despair possessed. to that. That's why he wants us. Once Zyna teaches us to control it, we'll be unstoppable. All right. We're with you. Absolute about her. Vandacia is going to win. We saw ourselves. He was drawing power from us, like sipping wine from a chalice. Now I'm going to roll a nat 20 on my persuasion check. This was only a vision, Kalia. We have not been defeated yet. But you saw how Vandacia looked. Strong powerful and Mayrun's Dagon looking down on us how do we stand against that you learn to control your powers and we stand against them together I don't can it really be that simple was that the point of these visions to show us how we were created and to reveal a dark and possible future all right I understand just because the night is long doesn't mean the sun won't rise tomorrow. Uh, yeah, pretty much. The obelisk of inevitability reveals just one possible future. True, it's the most likely outcome, but it isn't the only one. Now that we know where things are heading, we can work to change the course. So Vandicia is going to win. Merun Stegon is going to claim our world. Could you imagine? If Dagon actually did claim the world, though, like, you'd have, um, more like Bao, who's also, like, trying to claim Tamriel. Like, imagine, like, just Dagon and, and more like Bao just, like, battling it out against each other over the Imperial Sea. That would look insane. So, Verandica is going to win. Maroon's Dagon is going to claim our world, and now I'm despairing after telling the other two not to despair? Kind of confusing. We're dealing with forces beyond our understanding. It was always going to be a difficult journey, but the obelisk of inevitability only shows what will happen if events continue on their current course. That future hasn't happened. So what do yeah. we do? The perils of visiting oracles. Are we better off knowing what is to come, or continuing on in blissful ignorance? I believe our choices matter. I choose to resist Mayrun's Dagon, and no vision will sway me from that path. I hope you feel the same. I hope you feel the same. Goodbye. Dude, look at this guy's armor. 
you imposter. Another Daedric scum by the looks of it. Alright, let's enter this giant palace with the floaty tentacle monsters. Very cool indeed. Let me assassinate her. Assassinate! Oh, get wrecked! See, Miri doesn't like it when I use the Blade of Woe, even against the Daedra. Like, it doesn't make any sense. Like, surely she wouldn't give a shit. Like, it's Daedra. Like, come on. They're stealing our souls. Mortal who bore witness for the twin ambitions, let us speak. Oh, you mean we me? We can finally greet each other in person, mortal. It looks cool. Before we begin the process that will permit the twins to control their powers, I must ask you a single question. Why does one who abhors Mehrun's Dagon care what happens to his ambitions? The ambitions are people. They should get to decide their own fates. A noble sentiment, but they I'm are I'm actually trying to save people. Tamriel. They are powerful weapons. Dagon's priests imbued them with a portion of the Lord of Destruction's own energy when they were born. It has grown and intensified in the intervening years. Grown and intensified? To what end? Imagine that each ambition is like a mortal bank. Instead of gold, the priests deposited a portion of Dagon's energy inside them. That energy grew with them, compounding and doubling year after year like interest on your savings. It also transformed. Transformed in what way? In every way. What was once just of oblivion became mixed with Nern. Now that energy is a part of both realms. And that is why Mehrun's Dagon wants it back. It will give him the connection to Nern that he so greatly desires. A path to your world. So how do you teach the twins to control their power? Their power is like a volcano, building until released as an explosion or a lava flow. One is catastrophic, the other merely destructive. I will delay the eruptions while teaching them to dissipate and maintain control. You may observe, of course. I'll be watching you closely. <laughs> we must begin the ritual at once. This way. Pretty sus. This guy's working for the enemy. We've all been scammed. Stay close, friend. I'll feel better knowing you're nearby. Is this the ritual chamber? Very nice. What's happening? What's going on? Saida, what are you doing? Helping you fulfill your purpose. Your ambitions. You belong to Mehrun's Dagon. I told you it was a trap. Oh. What happened? No! Saina! Damn it! You betrayed us! Oof. Damn her! Zaina betrayed us and cast us into the spider nest! The worst place ever! The spider nest! What is it? It's a dungeon beneath her sanctuary. She sends her enemies here to die. But we aren't her enemies. She saved my life many times. If she'd wanted to hurt me, she could have done so long ago. Why turn against me now? Because you're going to be at full powers and you can... Marion's Dagon can use you finally to come to Tamriel. Since she mentioned Dagon, I think she plans to give the twins to him. I don't want to believe that. But I heard what she said too. And she completely drained my energy. I can't call upon my power until it recharges. We need to find a way out of here. We need to get to Kalia and Destron before Zyna turns them over. How will we help the twins if Zyra refuses to show them how to control their powers? First things first. I need to restore my power. Let me think. Zyna told me about an old foe she destroyed, tossed them into this place and kept their skull as a trophy. It may hold enough energy to recharge my power immediately. You rest. Just tell me where to find the skull. The skull is in the treasure chamber. You can get there through the east door, retrieve it, and meet me at the door in the north. When you Ooh. find me, I'll be in a meditative state. Present the skull. And I'll do the rest. Just casually meditate, alright. Who's this old foe anyway? Menthix. 
an ancient rival. Challenging him was one of the last tasks Sina assigned to me as she trained me to control my power. Together, we vanquished Menthix and left his bones in the spider nest. Don't Daedra just dissipate when they die? It sounds like she was using him for ages. Zyna did something to Menthix to chain his essence here forever. She kept him from coming back by trapping his power here, below her temple. Okay, well, let's go and get this guy, the skull of the sacred enemy. Hello, Mary. Yeah. Creepy soundtrack ensues. The gauntlet. YOLO! I run so fast that I was able to put out the fire. Mikhail! Thank you so much, dude. Happy you could make it here before the stream ended. I mean, we're we're like halfway through at this point. I think through the main story. Who's this guy sitting up here? He's shaking. You're right, mate. He's not okay. Can I let him down? I think there's a way to let him free. This place is completely empty. I don't know if there's supposed to be enemies in here. Kind of like casually walking through this place at the moment. Oh, okay, there's a chest here. He actually keeps a trophy chest with the skull. Alright, let's go back to Soburn. They're probably all dead now, aren't they? We failed our mission. Wait, what the hell? Oh god. Every room kind of looks similar. I think this is where you want to be. It's quite a charming area. Nice place to live with all the cages on the walls. Oh, what's that? There's a chair. Oh, this is the same area that was in. the residual energy. Hold the skull toward me, please. Alright, let me give you the skull. There you go. While my power Seems... finishes recharging, take a look at what I found. I left it over there. Seems pretty satanic. Hundreds of pages are filled with script faded almost to nothing. But last few pages are written in glowing golden ink. Very nice. Contract contract. The one one three seventh. One thousand one hundred and thirty seventh contract. At, my, at the command of Merun's Dagon, I submit to be bound under the following conditions. In exchange for my master's aid in the conquest of the mortal realm known as Cyrodiil, the Reach Folk, chieftain known as Darkorak, the Black Drake, shall cause to be born four ambitions under the signs and circumstances described in the Holy Book. It is written, contract the 1138th. At the command of Lord Dagon, I now endorse the extent the contract bestowed upon Darakorch onto his son and heir, Morikar, now Emperor of Cyrodiil. Whereas the Emperor Morikar executed his father's burden of bringing into being the four ambitions decreed by Meru's Dagon, I submit to the guide and instruct the Emperor agent in the ritual of empowerment described in the holy book it is written so essentially that was what we witnessed with them sacrificing the parents to empower the children with lord dagon's power in the visions contract again default in accordance with the obligations imposed upon me by dagon i assist to the default of the hairs of durakorak in the execution of the proceedings to contracts the death of Emperor Leovic, without the designation of an heir, activates the corticals described in the Holy Book. Whomever sacrifices the prepared ambitions in the manner required by Dagon may also lay claim 
to the reward once promised to Durakorak and his heirs, it is written. A footnote in the following script. Curse that boy Sombren. Three of the ambitions remained hidden within their vaults, and the one I had in my grasp had now returned to the mortal realm. At least he believes that all other servants of Merun's Dagon are his mortal enemies. When the time is right, I will lure him back, or perhaps he will come to me. The prize shall yet be mine. All I need is patience. All right. So, yeah. Scammed. I'm ready. Follow me. We have to stop Zyna. Attack! You first. She's doing something to the twins. You're too late. Lord Dagon will reward me for securing the twins. I'll help Kali and Destron. Oh God! You deal with Zyna. Don't worry, the I will easily deal with. The ambitions belong to Lord Dagon. Their power is for him alone. We'll see about that. Fight me. Get Rex up. My master will reward me for destroying you. This is a cool boss fight, though. Big fan. Oh no! Only you truly understood the nature of the ambitions. If only, if only. If she had described it to me. Perhaps I would have joined her. I will not Good a shot. Fail, my lord and prince. He's yeeted me on the ground there. Get Rex on. Zyna. She was going to sacrifice us to Mehrun's Dagon. Sombrin, how could you bring us to this... This monster? Oh, she wasn't like this. I, I didn't know. Destron, help me open a portal. Like Sombrin showed us on the hilltop. Very awkward. Taking a while, guys. Come on. Oh, there it is. This wasn't but how it was supposed to turn out. Come on. Let's go after them. Oof, Sombran. Absolutely betrayed us all there. Bit awkward. Dead us into a trap. Hmm. It could actually be, yeah. Yeah, the boss fights in the main quest are pretty trivial. Zyna, she never gave me any indication that she was going to betray us. No, no, That she was never. involved in our creation and wanted to sacrifice us to Mehrun's Dagon. At least the twin stone appear to be in an imminent danger of exploding. Do you think it's true that you were created to transform the power of Dagon placed inside you? Let me take another look at Zyna's contracts. Yes, it's here. Zyna used a holy book to show Von Dacia how to create the Four Ambitions. Could it have been the Mysterium Xarxis? She was always loyal to Dagon. She never wanted to help us at all. I wonder where the Fourth Ambition is. So far, we only know of three. Hopefully, they're either still locked in a vault or wandering free like I was. I hate to think that Von Dacia captured them while we were busy elsewhere. I'm... I'm not sure what we should do next, my friend. It's beginning to seem hopeless. Oof. All of the things are drawn out. We'll find a way to defeat Vandicia and save the ambitions. All of you. Don't worry, I'm sure Everly Sharp Arrow has come up with a good plan. I hope you're right. But I I'm can't see right. a way ahead from here. If all else fails, we'll destroy ourselves before we let Dagon win. We're the keys to unlock the barriers between Big here grim. and the Deadlands. We can't allow ourselves to fall into his hands. I mean, that that's a good option. Take the twins back to the temple while I go and talk to Kenshu. We'll come up with something. I guarantee you that the temple gets attacked and they will get taken. Kali and Destro. They're useless. They have no reason to trust me. Not anymore. Oof. But I'll still protect them. And somehow, I'll find a way to earn their trust again. 
Can you keep Kalia and Destron from destroying themselves? Whatever Zyna did to prepare them to be sacrificed, it seems to have dampened their power. How long that will last, I have no idea. But until their power builds to uncontrollable levels again, they should be able to use it to help us. What happens after that? I'll try to train the twins as Zyna trained me. If all else fails, I can take them back to the Deadlands. The realm seems to naturally siphon off our energy and keep it at manageable levels. Not my first choice, but it will serve as a last resort. Thanks for becoming a member, Janelle. Appreciate that. Okay, let's talk to other companions who have just been betrayed and almost died. Actually, what's up? We have to go over here and talk to Blackfin about... I had no idea Zyna meant to betray us. She wanted to kill us, Sombrin. An apology isn't going to cut it. Destron, Zyna betrayed Sombrin too. Because he was stupid enough to trust her. Betrayal. I'll make this right. I promise. He is dumb. Let's return to the temple. We shouldn't be discussing this in the street. I literally called it immediately. I was like, this is definitely a trap. <laughs> nope, yes. let's follow him. And then she's like, yes, I operate in the plane of Lord Dagon. And it's like, no, not suspicious at all. We'll continue to do what you say. Oh, look, she's put us in her spider dungeon. Fantastic. <laughs> oh, dearie me. Gideon is not the ground on which we conduct this fight. There is a better place to defend the ambitions. You return at a grim moment, mercenary. While you were gone, word reached us that the Waking Flame is gathering an army. I fear it will soon march on Gideon. But Evely said you took the ambitions to learn about their powers. Did you succeed? Did I succeed? <laughs> of course I didn't. We know more about the ambitions, but they are still in danger. I didn't tell her that our mission was an absolute catastrophic failure, and we almost literally destroyed the entirety of Tamriel to Dagon. We are all in danger. At least you kept the ambitions safe. I thank you for that. Concerning the cult, Evely and I have made plans. But first, I want you to have this. Compensation for the work you have done up to this point on Blackwood's well, almost, behalf. Almost killing the ambitions, yep. Great work! Take this reward. We actually get her helmet that she's wearing currently, which is really cool. The Order of the Waking Flame has cast a net around Gideon. Von Dacia is gathering an army, including guards from the garrison who were loyal to him all along. He knows the ambitions were here, and that they have now returned. Have you changed your mind about making a stand in Gideon? No. The city is no place for a battle. When foes surround you, it is wise to put your back spines to a tree. Okay. We will move the ambitions to Fort Redmayne. The Imperials abandoned it years ago, but my Blackfin Legion has been restoring its defenses. Should I take the ambitions to the fort? No, I have another task for you. Summon what allies you can to Fort Redmayne to help defend the ambitions. Dude. I sent my Legion ahead, but I fear we will need more warriors. This sounds Before cool. Before you go, tell the ambitions what we are doing and why. They trust you. All right. Tell the ambitions we will defend them with our lives. Just not here, where so many civilians could be endangered. Let us use Fort Redmayne as the tree against our backs. Evely will see the ambitions safely to the fort. Talk to her before you go. I hope we actually get a sick, like, keep defense battle. That would be awesome, man. Indeed, sneak 100. Very snacky. Where should I go and look for allies? I leave the specifics up to you. Consider who you have helped throughout Blackwood. Evely might have some ideas. Remember, this is not a mission for just any courier or messenger. The cult has made the roads of Blackwood especially dangerous. Remind me about the Blackfin Legion. They are my brothers and sisters in arms, the finest Argonian warriors to ever emerge from Black Marsh. It started as a mercenary band and was tempered in the Akaviri and Alliance Wars. Now they protect Gideon, and they will protect the ambitions. Tell the ambitions.
ambitions, no army of crazed cultists is going to sacrifice them on our watch. Not on my watch. Try not to alarm them, which might be tricky. Hmm. After I send out a call <laughs> for allies, I'll escort Sombrin and the twins to Port Redmayne. Oh, you got a sweet roll remote. Love that. Very cool. Dark Brotherhood, here we come. <laughs> you mentioned sending out calls for allies. Right. Anyone with an army that can help us. You head to Leowin. I'm sure Captain Rianne would be happy for the Ivory Brigade to lend a hand. Beyond that, what about anyone else you helped here in Blackwood? Anyone have any soldiers no they can spare? No one. I honestly don't know anyone else who might want to help. If that's the case, just alert Captain Rianne after you talk to the Ambitions. Then head directly to Fort Redmain. But if you have the time, go help some people. The fate of the world's at stake. Someone may join up in exchange for a good deed. All you need is me, baby. Don't need anyone else. That's quite cool. So so the side quests give you other ally options. Thanks for letting me know, Chris. Appreciate that, dude. Yeah, so it's kind of like uh, the Elder Scrolls Oblivion. I always remember, kind of, a lot of people hated this, but like you kind of got to a point in the main quest line where you had to go around all the other major cities and ask them to send guards. And you had to do like a main quest in that city for the, uh, the Duke or whatnot. Um, and then they would go and give you two guards, usually. Sometimes it was one guard um, to defend the entirety of Cyrodiil against the uh, um, Dagon invading back in the Elder Scrolls IV Oblivion, which was always hilarious to me. But um, it seems like they're doing something here as well, where obviously we could have done the side quests and then we could have gone and speak to additional people to help us, but we'll just carry on and do it without their help and defend them with our body and soul. I'll speak to the Ambitions. Then ask Captain Rianne to join us at Fort Redmayne. Tell Sombrid and the twins I'll be with them shortly. I have a few more details to work out with the Governor. After that, go see Captain Rianne and then meet me at Fort Redmayne. But don't take too long. I'd rather you were there when the cult attacks. The Ambitions were rattled by what we learned in the Deadlands. You went to the Deadlands? And you took the Ambitions with you? What were you thinking? Literally, thank you. It's so dumb, right? Sombra knew someone who could help them control their power, but he tried to kill us. What did you expect was going yeah, to happen? Exactly. In That's where Mayrun's Dagon keeps all his stuff. Exactly. Well, at least everyone made it back. Now we just need to keep them safe from Vandacia and you had order one the job. flame. And you took them to Dagon's realm of oblivion. Literally, so dumb. Like, why could we say no? Maybe not. Very white. White Daedric armor. Pretty cool. Not gonna lie. Well, if this was two Ebony Warriors, sure. Alright, guys. Um, let's have a look. So we need to go and talk to the Ambitions. Alright, guys. Before we talk what to the Ambitions, I'm gonna quickly go to the toilet. Because I've consumed so much G Fuel. I actually need some more because I'm out. So I need to quickly do that. It only take me like 30 seconds. Um, and then we'll carry on with the main quest. I'll leave you here to look at the map and discuss it. Chris, let us know in the chat, by the way, if, um, like, how it changes the story if you do the side quests before you do the main quest. Does it actually have that much of an impact? I feel like it will kind of be a bit of flavor, but nothing more than that. All right, guys, I'll be right back. Give me one moment. <laughs>
I've returned. I've returned, my friends. How are you all? Are we all well? Oh, I, I've gone for pineapple flavour. You can't see it because it's it's yellow. Is ironically the two my two favourite flavours from G Fuel right now are the pineapple flavour and the apple flavour, which you can't see because the green screen. But you can grab both for yourself. Try them out. Little sachets also exist. You don't need to get a whole tub if you don't want it. Uh, link is below, and you can use the code ESO for thirty percent off, my friends. So we're just here. We're gonna talk to you, Sombrden. Something's going on, isn't it? it? Seems like every Blackfin Legionnaire is in a hurry today. Let me guess. Fondacia is coming for us again. Everly will be here shortly to escort you to Fort Redmain. We can protect you better there. I know the place. It's an old Imperial garrison, isn't it? I passed by it during my travels after Varen's forces released me from my vault. A fort is more defensible than Gideon anyway. I see the logic. But aren't you coming with us? I'll meet you there. First I need to try and gather additional allies. I swear to protect the twins in your absence. I took Alright, we're good. What do you want? Can I steal something? No one's here. Oh. Not really worth anything, is it? Not even worth it, friends. Okay, so now we need to go back to Leowin. So let's quickly go and grab the Way Shrine and travel back. Honestly, I thought green apple tasted proper like apple. It literally tastes like apple juice to me. I can't wait to take a load off at the inn. He says the same line every time we come here as well. Right. Let's head over to the keep. We've just got to ask um, the, the guards to join us. Um, at defending the four, and that's the only ally we currently have in Blackwood because we haven't done any other side quests on this character. So we will just have them and see how it goes. Maybe it'll make the game harder, which will be good, in my opinion. Mercenary, you have news? Governor Kenshu sent the ambitions to Fort Redmain, but we need help defending them against the cult. That explains the reports I received from my scouts. Increased and flagrant waking flame activity in the countryside around Gideon. I take it Vondacia knows the ambitions are there? We think so. Kenshu doesn't want the fight to be in the city. Governor Keshu is wise. Gideon isn't as defensible as Leowin. A battle inside the city limits will cause untold damage and deaths among the common folk. Very well, mercenary. The Ivory Brigade will stand with the Black Finn Legion. You're right, dude. It did look very similar to the Rufal Axe. I mean, it could be cool if it was like a little reference, but I don't think it is. Thank you, Captain. I'll rally the Ivory Brigade here in Leowin, and we'll meet you at Fort Redmain. We'll stop Von Dacia and his cultists. We have to. We do indeed have to. We have no other options. So where is this fort? Oh. Uh. Wants me to go through here for some reason. Forks at Everly Sharp Arrow. Where is she then? Okay, she's over here. At Fort Redmain. I think we actually need to go and just... Yeah. Let's drop on the way shrine so we can fast travel closer to it. And then we can walk the rest of the way. I've not tried Faceberry. Oh, dude. The fort seems awesome, though. 
This actually did exist in Oblivion as well, that wasn't quite as extravagant as it is now in the Elder Scrolls Online. Apparently Everly's at the entrance, so let's go and chat with her. I'm super excited for the, like a huge battle. You play the army you're dealt, right? Or march with the army you have? I'm terrible at metaphors. Truly. A solid fort at our backs, brave soldiers at our side. Now we just need to wait for Vandacia and his cultists to show up. Are you sure you're ready for this? If we're being totally honest, I'm as nervous as the last leaf on the tree on the final day of fall. I'm a walk in the woods, loose an arrow at your back, fade into the trees kind of adventurer. <laughs> an all-out war? That's not my style. You fought well at Frostbreak Fortress. All I can promise you is that I'll fight by your side. It'll be alright. Let's go for this one. I did, didn't I? Why, that was much worse than this. With all those angry briar hearts and harpies and catapults flinging fireballs every which way. Anyway, let's get to it. Talk to Governor Keshu and see where she thinks we'll do the most good. All right, let's see what we can do to help. Did you hear something? Like a storm drawing near, <laughs> Vandacia's forces come. Time to take our places. I will command the outer defenses. Captain Rianne and his brigadines will protect the gate. We will do our best to keep the cultists from getting past us and into the fort. Where do you want me? I want you inside the fort near the Shelter. guardhouse. That's where we'll place the ambitions for safekeeping. It will be up to you to deal with any cultists that get past us until we can send soldiers to assist you. And remember, they have portal magic. I don't know, portal magic. Do you think we need to defend the gates? Shouldn't we just prepare for them inside the portal inside, yeah? I expect a two-pronged assault. The bulk of Vandacia's forces will attack the gate while a smaller group uses portals to get inside. Portal magic is difficult. They could never move an entire army that way. Hence, we must defend from all directions. Battle sister, let's Brigadines, do this. take your positions. The enemy could arrive at any time. Everly, take the ambitions to the guardhouse. Blackfin Legion, to me. Ooh, everyone just chilling out like there's no rush whatsoever. Come on, chop shop. I assume all these empty campsites over here and there would be where our other friends would be if we had helped anyone else in Blackwood. But alas, I have not helped anyone else. I thought she was about to say I want you inside of me. Maybe that's what she was thinking. You could have read her mind, who knows. We can't be sure. Battle of Whiterun vibes coming in. I feel like it won't be as epic. There are more people here though. Battle of Whiterun had eight Stormclicks attacking. It was very intense. Any Dude. sign of Vandacia's forces, Captain Rian? I just received word. The Waking Flame has arrived, and they have portal mages with them. Evely, take the ambitions to the guardhouse. I'll protect them. Dude, you look at this two-pronged wall. Support the mercenary. Oh, gates of oblivion have opened in the courtyard. It's just me in this little boss fight arena. Give the order and we'll release a volley. Is that the last of them? Perfect oh, feck. Use arrow barrage. Oh, let's do it. Come on. Get everyone inside here. We're about to lose. Lead the enemy to our target. I feel like they're not doing any damage. Oh, a little bit of damage. Obviously, kind of pointless. It's just for flavor. Oh, yes. Look at them. All of their arrows are pretty much useless compared to my single attacks. I hope you're watching. Oh, he's like, spin, spin to win. Release the volley now, battle brother. Why is he focusing on my follower? He's just tanking him. Finish him! That one put up a Heard fight, you might need they? a little help in here. Who the hell are you? Hold the courtyard, Lieutenant. 
Mercenary, go check on the ambitions. Bit late, but okay. I will go inside and check. What about the Dark Brotherhood? Yeah, I know, right? We were friends with them, but I guess they don't really operate on this grand scale. They are assassins, after all. Oh, good, you're here. A little help, please. She's just like literally on fire. Don't worry, I'm here to help. There are more of these abominations on the balcony. Yeah, well, let me deal with this big day drop first. And then I will help you, Battle Sister. Let's go. I literally just mounted his head there. Get Rex, son, you tubber lubber. In a big family, you have to know how to scrap. Really? Beat each other up, do you? I'm on the balcony. I don't see any enemies. Oh, wait. There's one. You've caught me at a busy time. What are you talking about? Okay. Boom. Cracked acorns. I lost track of Sombrin and the twins. They ran west. West. This way. Must be downstairs. Can't get over the, the wall. Through here? No? Okay. Wait, so is it up? Oh, it's upstairs west. Okay, great. Caltrops. You want caltrops. Caltrops is pretty useful. It's just one of the back bar dots that you leave on the enemy, really. I'm just using it for flavor in these little fights. All right, lady. You're right, though. It's not necessary. Hello there. Always seems like we're a little bit too late to save anyone from the actual execution. I don't think this uh, clan fear is going to cry for mummy, though. Miri. Still What's no that? sign of the ambitions? Tangled roots, what a mess. Might be a law book. BRB. Well, I ran into a lot of Daedra, but no ambitions. Sombrin must be trying to stay one step ahead of Vandacia's forces. Let's split up. You check the inner bailey, and I'll backtrack to make sure we didn't miss anyone in here. No, it's a hundred percent going to be in the inner bailey. I am certain of that. Where did those daedra you were fighting when I showed up come from? Portals open all around us, and daedra poured in without warning. Sombrin grabbed Kalia and Destron and blasted their way out of the fight. When you arrived, my cousins and I were doing our best to cover their retreat. Where were they going? I'm not sure, but they ran west. Hmm. The inner bailey's in that direction. I wouldn't be surprised if Sombrin plans to keep moving. Vandacia will have a hard time finding the ambitions if they don't stand still. Hmm. And so will we. That's awkward. <laughs> I'm off to play Blackwood. Dude, enjoy. And good luck. There's like 18 great swords on that weapon rack there. Over here, mercenary! Vandacia's forces... They're everywhere. Sombrin, I sense more of them. They're coming. All of you, under the shield. Here they come. Oh, fancy magic. Why are we standing under the shield? Is it helping us in any way? Can I leave the shield? Or will I be punished? Let's see. Stop Time showing off. Stay close. He's just like the shield does nothing. He's just like flexing on us. He's like, hey, look, this is cool. Look at me, guys. I'm doing shield stuff. There's more coming. Quick, conjure shield. Under the shield. Yeah. 
Yeah, Rexa. Well, she's using her fire magic now. Nothing can stop her. Watch out, the shield is not working. Keep going! Move! Come, Battle Brother. Here they come. Oh! Sovereign. You're only delaying the inevitable. Monster! Because of you, our parents are dead! They were the chosen of Meron's Dagon. Rewarded beyond their station. I'm going to kill you, Vandasia! Who shall I sacrifice first? Perhaps the sister. You leave Kalia alone, you bastard! Yes, son! You are Sith Lightning. Boy. Let me help you fulfill your purpose. Oh, boy. Death no! no! Just got fucking i return to you the power of this ambition. Whoa. The realms merge so you may walk among us. Oh my god, that was sick! The sky! And Merun's Dagon! How is he here? This is my opposition. How easily I shall crush them. Into the keep, quickly. Now this looks the sick, mate. The world's emerging, Sombrin. There is no escape. When you tire of running, I will be waiting in the courtyard. Well, it's lucky we didn't have any allies with us. They would have all been wiped out with a single swing. Dude, I really want to just go and watch Dagon screw up Tamriel, to be honest with you. He looks awesome. That was insane. I hate you. Just leave us alone! Oh, I didn't do anything. You can't unleash your power like that. You could lose control. What does it matter? You saw what he did to Destron. He's going to do the same to us. Broken branches? What happened here? Fondacia sacrificed Destron, allowing Merun's Dagon to drag us into his realm. Evely, I need the book you're carrying. You know about that? It's part of Dagon. Just like Kalia and me. I sensed it the moment I met you. I think I can use it to weaken Vondasia. Give us a fighting chance. All right. What are you going to do with it? Take the fight to Vondasia in the courtyard. He won't expect that. Meanwhile, I need time to prepare. Just ease Go the pages. Go super powerful Daedric priest? How? Just keep him busy. Then... With the help of this book, I'll take care of the rest. All right. Sombra needs us to buy him some time. Let's get to the courtyard. I can't believe we lost Destron. I should have been there. Maybe together we could have saved him. Nah, he was useless anyway. Veronica lured out Destron by threatening Kalia. We couldn't hold him back. I mean, we didn't even try. He literally just walked out ahead. Yes, I'd probably do the same if someone threatened my brother. Have you seen the sky outside? One ambition gave Vandasia enough energy to merge the entire fort with the Deadlands. What could he do with another ambition or two? Sombran thinks he can use your book to help us defeat Verandasa. Right. Should it concern us that he can read the book and it was all gibberish to me? Maybe the whole reason I found it and carried it all this time was so I could give it to Sombran now. Maybe he's meant to use it to stop Dagon. I hope that's true. I hope it's true too. I can't believe it. He killed my brother. He killed Destron. Listen. Sacrifice me. Let Sombrin take my energy. Then you can kill Vandasia and save the fort. Don't worry, you still have that painting of him. If you die, your energy just returns to Dagon. That's not really an option. But... But my brother and my parents... Vandasia has to pay for that. You were supposed to protect us. You were supposed to save Destron. Awkward. Vandasia surprised us. He was too powerful. That's why we need to give Sombrian there time to use that book. Then let me help. Sombrian has been holding me back. 
I don't care if I lose control, so long as I take Vandesio with me. Find him. Keep him busy. I'll make sure he pays for Destron. I'll find him. I can't let Destron's death be for nothing. With this book, I think I can help us defeat Vandacia and once again separate the realms. How did you know she had the book? I can't explain how being an ambition works. I don't really know myself. But I can sense things that are like me. That have the same taint of Dagon upon them. This book practically reeks of it. I think this is the Mysterium Xarxis. The Dremora who helped us. Lyrith. That's what she called it. Zyna's contracts mentioned it. The rites it describes allowed Vondasia to imbue us with a portion of Dagon's energy. I think he took a little for himself along the way, which is why he's so powerful. I want to try to take that energy away from him. Will that help us defeat him and return Fort Redmayne to Blackwood? I'm not sure we left Blackwood. The two realms are merging around this fort. We could be on Nern or in the Deadlands, or maybe some place in between. If I can weaken Vondasia and you can destroy him, that might break the connection and set us free. <laughs> YOLO. Do what you can. We'll be ready. Alright, let's go. Let's battle. The mage. Ooh, some lovely little gardening set up here, eh? Hey, brother. You were caught on the wrong side of that door. You have to go the other way. I do. Anything good in here? Hello there, Battlebot. Yeah, he's got a point. The Brotherhood. Oh. The Brotherhood's here. Keep going. There's still cultist blood to spill here. There you go, guys. Your prayers were answered. They heard you. Come on, Brattle Brothers. Let's go. My arrows never miss their mark. Oh, I see. Whoa. Damn. Did he just eat him? <laughs> oh boy. Dagon, what a bowler. Pathetic. Are those arrows or flea bites? The Dagon's not impressed, guys. Die. Back to oblivion with you. There's two ways we can go. I choose this way. Run, little maggots. Flee I'll save you. Destruction. <laughs> Finish him. Saved your life. Kill them to run away. Well, no, I guess it wouldn't. Oh, thank Maybe you. they should try that. By the way, anyone know what engine it is? Certainly not the creation engine. No, this isn't in the creation engine. I don't remember what engine it's in. Ah! Oh. Give me a law book. Come on. Damn it. No law books for me. Oh! Uh-oh. Oh, we got separated then. Tremble before me as your realm oh, becomes mine. This is like his wet dream coming true finally. Vandacia should be just through that door. I'll cover you from the battlements. How do you know? That's pretty sus. Don't know about this. Don't know if I trust you now. The power of the Lord of Fire and Blood flows through me. 
You cannot stop what is happening. Get ready, Kalia. Wow. Just like I showed you. You're going to pay Vandesia. Mercenary, help us drain his power. Use the ambition's wrath. This is for my brother. Oof. You dare. Merging the realms is delicate. One mistake and both could be destroyed. Oh! Oh! Goddamn! That was cool, dude. Let's see what else you can do, huh? I don't think so. The master's tongue! Give me that boy! Give me that boy! We'll defeat Vandacia together. <laughs> Emily Sharper just sounds so chill. He's like, don't worry, my friend. We'll defeat him together. My archers are ready. Give us a target. Use the arrow barrage. You do no damage, but do it. Finish him. We're ready. Tell Kalia when to strike. Well, fucking now, maybe? You wanted our power? Here! Hatuken! You can't avoid your fate's ambitions! Oof. Dude, look at that. That looks sick. Imagine if we had that ability. That would look amazing. This is a sick boss fight. Enjoying this. I'm trying not to kill him too fast because I want to carry on enjoying it. <laughs> the area around that portrait slides into the Deadlands. The greater Dagon's influence will be. My brigadines are here to help. Battle brother. Behind you. Give the order and we'll release a volley. Release it whenever you feel like it, mate. We're about to lose. Lead the enemy to our target. You completely missed, they're already dead. Oh! Uh oh, we're being destroyed by this iron astronaut. Get yeah, Rexa! Drain Vondacia's power! Just give the order! How about now? We're not going to die for Mayroon Stagon! Oh! I grow tired of this game! You cannot stand against Meron's Dagon's power! He's flanking us. Stop that at once, sir. Dagon, oh, he's running. I need more power! Pondesia's weakening! I, I really hope after that he just, like, gives the He-Man reference and at the end he's like, I have the power! Look, there's no one here, archers. Why are you aiming your arrows there? Maybe if I stand here, arrows it will be useful. Away. Nope, this guy's attacking my follower. He's almost dead, bless her. My archers are ready. How you will attack on Dacia when you give the word? Attack now. Oof, you felt that. Enough of this! The master wants to spell. Oof! He will have it. Where's he going? My death will change nothing. The merge is almost complete. Finish him! Die, you bastard! Nah, I wasn't worried. Were you worried? <laughs> Oh. You defeated my high priest, mortals. That was unexpected. Damn, he looks and cool. Before he completed the merging. That is unfortunate. Dude. Though this realm slips from my grasp, oh. your fate is inevitable. 
You will join me or die on missions. It is why you were created. Mate, we that's so cool. We stopped Von Dacia from merging the realms and opening the way for Mayrune's Dagon. But my brother, Destron is still dead. I failed Destron, but I won't fail you. This guy makes so many promises that he never keeps. He's like the right. ultimate promise Without breaker. Without Dacia or his master, the cult doesn't stand a chance. Game won't let me loot this for some reason. Oh, it's bugged again. I, I can't believe I it. We defeat. This way, Kalia. Come with me. Oh my God! What a player! He just wanted to get her brother out of the picture this whole time. Yeah, come with me. Yeah, yeah. Look, walking alone over there. What an absolute. He's the, playing the long game. I can't believe it. Neither can we I. Defeated Van Dacia, saved Sombrin and Kalia, and sent Dagon running with his tail between his legs. Does he have a tail? Anyway, we won. Destron would be proud of his sister. She fought bravely through the entire battle. I'm not sure, sure we could have beaten Van Dacia without Sombrin and Kalia's help. Yeah, I guess Faro Lupus was right. We did need that strange book. In fact, I think I was meant to give it to Sombrin. I couldn't read a word of it, but he cast spells from it like it belonged to him. Sombrin proved himself. Maybe he can do some good with that book and help find the fourth ambition. I'm not sure anyone should use that book, not if it's really the Mysterium Xarxes. 100%. Tangled roots. Sombrin did good. And I don't want to take it back. Those dreams and visions would have driven me crazy eventually. I think Sombrin's a good steward for the book. He can keep it safe so it doesn't fall into the wrong hands. Why do I even have an opinion? All right. Even the book then. I cannot loot it. God damn it. What are you doing here, man? Now I can add facing down a Daedric Prince to my already impressive list of accomplishments. Ooh. Food connoisseur, master assassin, consummate Vosa Saddle player, and now this. I suppose I should thank you for getting me mixed up in this. Arunus Dagon won't stop trying to capture the ambitions. Will you continue to help us? Nope. Vandacia made this personal, but I try not to make a habit of killing people for free. It's bad for business. You do what you have to. Me, I'm going to find a nice mammoth stick with a side of vegetables smothered in scuttled cheese sauce. That sounds good, mate. Food is more important than the threat of Dagon? No, no, I want to join him. Hey, I never claimed to be a hero. And despite our success today, I don't want to face Daedric threats on a regular basis. Then again, who knows what tomorrow will bring. Seeing you in action, I'm sure you'll turn up on a contract eventually. If you say so. Dude, I really like his character, Alam. Very cool. Love the absolute destruction that Dagon caused here as well. Absolutely awesome, man. Alright, let's go join the others. Why do console players have to wait until 8th? Because PC is superior in every single way. No, I'm just kidding, man. I don't know what the reason is. It's probably something to do with server updates and uh, getting things processed or something strange in the back end of production and getting it out to the community. Yeah, I don't know why. Let's have a look at the front then and see if we can join the rest of the squad. Everyone just clapping. I'm running at hyperspeed right now. What is going on? I'm sorry about Destron. Whatever you need, I'm here for you. I'm still alive. I can't believe I survived all that, but Destron didn't. It's not fair. None of this is. I don't know what I'm supposed to do now. Learn to control your power and carry on. Build a bridge and get over it. Easy to say. Hard to do. Still. 
Savage. So many people fought to protect me today. Even though my heart is broken, for their sakes, I'll find a way. Destron would want me to. Sombra will figure out how to teach you to control your power. Yeah, that that guy. God damn. <laughs> Playing the long game. I hope so. Not just for my sake, but for the other ambition. Whoever they are. Without Destron, they and Sombran are the only family I have left. I'll try to be there for them. I really will. For now, we're heading back to the temple if you need us. I've been alone my entire life. First in my vault, and then in my wanderings. I finally found a real family, and I let one of them get taken from me. I promise you, I won't allow that to happen again. I'm sorry about Destron, but we stopped Vandesia and saved Tamriel. For now. But I don't think it's over. It's not over. There's another ambition to find. And I can't imagine Mayrun's Dagon and his followers leaving us alone after all the time and planning that went into creating us. I think we'll head back to the temple for now. What do you think we'll do you'll do with the Mysterium Xarxes? I uh I'm not sure. It belongs to Evely, not me. I'd like to study it, see if there's some way to free the ambitions and change our destiny. But I know it's also dangerous. Let me think about it a little more. Then I'll talk with Evely. Arun's Dagon said you'd join him or die. We need to make sure neither of those things happen. Especially because he's got that book, I'm a bit worried. Daedra spin great lies from small truth when it suits them. I know that now. It was Zaina's last lesson to me. We won't join him and I won't let him kill us. We just need to come up with a way to keep any of that from happening. Would you say getting your companion first is the best way of starting Blackwood to level them early? Yeah, I would definitely say the same thing. Uh, later, Taser, I agree with you as well. Like, uh, it makes sense to get them early. Though I wouldn't say they really add anything to the story, which I'm a bit disappointed about that they don't have, like... I kind of thought, like, I get that the main story has Everly Sharpar as your, like, companion companion. But I feel like my like miri the companion or even if you had bastion as well uh, they didn't really add anything like, i would have thought they'd have like some kind of lines they don't have anything extra to say if you ask them how they're feeling um i don't know i would have thought they'd have some kind of like general sort of uh dialogue about like the current situation you know like kind of like ingo or lydia from skyrim you know like actually feels like a companion who's engaging with you as you go on the quest line I feel like they just didn't write that in for some reason, which is a bit disappointing. But general, like, you know, exploring, yeah, they're fine. But it doesn't seem to be much of, like, I don't feel like companionship, like, dialogue-wise with them. Only, like, very, very somewhat when you do, like, something that they like or dislike. Any idea how we find the remaining ambition? Yes. I wonder who he is, or she. Are they still trapped inside a vault? Or did they find a way to escape like I did? I hate to think of them alone and unprotected. But maybe it's better if they remain hidden. Wouldn't they be in danger of destroying themselves though? Right. I almost forgot about that. Indeed. I need to figure out how to keep Kalia from being consumed by her ever-increasing power. And them, too, once we find them. I suppose I have a lot to consider. And not a lot of time to do it. Let's go and chat to the squad. The people of Blackwood owe you their gratitude, mercenary. We you almost killed and everyone. Evely both. If not for your courage, Vondacia and his waking flame cult would have unleashed unthinkable destruction. The losses would have been devastating. Speaking of losses, how did the Blackfin Legion and Ivory Brigade fare in the battle? It could have been worse. We did well against the cultists. They were not trained soldiers, and when Mayrun's Dagon appeared, we faded into the mud and grass. Dagon did more damage to his own minions than he inflicted on our forces. <laughs> what an absolute crumpet. Your combined forces helped save Sombran and Kalia. When a fire rages, my neighbor's hut is my own. That okay. is Argonian wisdom. We defend ourselves by defending our friends. 
Those who died today died well. We do not mourn them. We will celebrate their sacrifice and cherish our victory back in Gideon. Dude, the, the voice acting the Elder Scrolls Online, like, just across the board, like, with pretty much all the DLCs is really good. Sometimes the writing's a bit, like, oof and obvious, but, like, the voice acting is insane every time. Got such high level quality for voice acting. Yeah, so you can um, change uh, Miri's or any companion's outfit. Um, you can go to collectibles, you can change all of their outfits, or uh, you can dye it and customize it. Um, you can have whatever outfit you want to give them. Dark Seducer, Breton Hero, Covenant Scout. Got the Elven Hero armor, I think that kind of suits her right now. You can also give her like, the Emperor outfit or whatever else you want. You can also change her mount as well. You know what, let's give her the uh, the Twitch horse. There we go. Mount up. There you go, now she's riding that go. mount. So I already had that achievement, that's a bit weird. Governor Keshu made the right call bringing the ambitions here. Can you imagine what would have happened to Gideon if Mayroon's Dagon appeared over the egg and hammer? We didn't just save Sombran and Kalia. We saved Gideon. Maybe all of Blackwood. So the ambitions were an elaborate scheme to merge Dagon's power with Nern so we could conquer it. That seems How have we only just figured that way. out? I mean, I'm we knew sorry that. sorry we couldn't stop Vandacia from murdering Destron. But at least we took care of that rotten tree stump in the end. Despite all that, I feel pretty good. It's not every day I get to save Tamriel. Do you think we've seen the last of the Order of the Waking Flame? That would be too much to hope for. I'm sure some of them slipped away. It will take a while for them to find a leader as powerful as Vandacia, but I expect them to show up again at some point. Well, if you did it, well, you did it, Everly. You discovered the truth behind Leovic's secret. Not by myself, I didn't. You helped. What started as an historic mystery turned into a tale of murder, living Daedric weapons and the end of the world. How do we follow that? Oh, I know. With flagons of rot meth and lots of roast paws on a stick. Sounds good to me. What now? Can't we just rest for a while and bask in the glory? I know there's another ambition out there. And we need to keep Sombran and Kalia safe. But still. Oh, Kesho asked me to give this to you. A reward for defending Blackwood. Oh, I have a feeling pendrums. you hate this sort Very of nice. thing. But we need to head back to Gideon. Governor Keshu insists on throwing us a victory celebration. I wonder if there will be cake. I could <laughs> really, really go for a big, gooey piece of cake. The cake is a lie. What kind of victory celebration? Oh, the best kind. I hear Governor Keshu really knows how to throw a party. Food and drink, music and dancing. And she wants everyone to be there. Everyone? Sure. The gardens behind the governor's mansion are big enough to entertain an entire army. Hey, before you join us, can you check on Sombrin and Kalia? Invite them to the party? Sure. I'll meet you in Gideon after you collect Sombrin and Kalia from the temple. I think we have earned a little relaxation and a slice or two of cake. Is after the cake everything real? we've accomplished here. Do you still want to be an adventurer after all of this? Absolutely. I think I'm really cut out for it. You get to travel, meet interesting people, see ancient places, and you get to solve all sorts of riddles and mysteries. And sometimes people throw you a celebration party too. A party cake with is... cake! Cake is all you want for a reward? I'm from Grotwood. Have you met my people? It's all roasted this and roasted that, and even raw this and raw that too. I mean, you eat each you other, don't get so to yeah. You enjoy many pastries under green pack rules, you know. Mate. You can pay me and Cake, like, honestly, you want to hire me, invite me to your party, I'll, you just get a good cake, man. I'll be there. <laughs> Already. <laughs> you don't mind the dangerous parts of adventuring? Knowing that you helped people, and seeing how much they appreciate it more than makes up for the dark times. You walk into town and people say, hey, it's Everly! The hero of Kavach, or the hero of a history of Redmane. The hero of Redmane. Ah, Fort Nibbum was renamed Fort Redmain in honor of the Legion's fierce adversary. Ironically, the time the fort was completed, the troublesome raids that had impelled 
G Kingdoms. Ah, this is interesting. I might read that later properly, but it's not really relevant to the story right now. The Helm of Blackfin Collectible. What's... Oh, okay, so that's what we got from the Argonian lady, uh, which is the helmet she's wearing. No helmet for me, though, thank you. All right, so where are the ambitions? We said we would tell them to come to the party. It's party time. Go to the Temple of Diabella, where all the good orgies begin, right? So we gotta go. Um, okay, so there's actually a way shrine just there. Give me my horsey. Yeah, so you have gone to the giant... Have you gone to the giant space program? What do you mean? That rings a bell for some reason, but I can't place it. Why? I was an adventurer like you and then took an arrow to the knee. Battle brother. Oh, that's a sick overlook, though. Really cool. What are you wearing? Kind of like that outfit. Quite awesome. The top. Just like the chest piece. Almost like a jester outfit. It's kind of weird. All right. Uh, so let's go back to Gideon. More like Baal versus Dagon would be so cool. What do you say we try some of the local fare? I'm famished. Temple of Diabella. Let me go through the upstairs entrance. Mix it up a bit. Enter sneakily. Oh, here's the shrine. Shrine to the sex god. God damn. Oh, one sec. This was locked before, wasn't it? I kind of go up here now. Interesting. Hope we find no, I don't want to speak. Go away, Miri. What? Wait, what? Is this a secret? Why have I got four companion secret shields in here? That sh That shouldn't be there. It's Dude, that, that must be a caught, right? that must be a bug. This is bugged. This has to be a bug. These are worth so much in the in the store right now. What is hap- wait, no. That- is that actually a visual bug, or... One sec. Change of plans? That must be a bug. No way. Yeah, I don't have any equipment to give her. Unless it counts as stolen and I need to fence it. I don't know, it's not in my inventory next to the other stolen goods. What was that about? Yeah, I, uh, Khajiit players DPS because you get extra critical damage. Which is obviously sick. Yeah, look! Everything! But it doesn't actually count well, as me hey, looting it. Even though I can see it. That's so weird. Alright, anyway, let's go downstairs and enjoy the party, eh? Hello? If Looking you're drink? looking for our guests, they're long gone. What? I know you. You brought those guests to our temple. Kalia and Sombrin and poor Destron. Everyone in town is talking about your deeds in Blackwood. You helped stop that traitorous Vendacia and his cult. Thank you for that. Where are they? I did say that, didn't I? I suppose that even the charms of the Lady of Love can be too much for some folk. Not everyone can stand to bask in Debella's glory for too long at a time. But they were good people. I liked them all. Okay, do you know where they went? I heard them talking about a ruin north of Gideon. I know that particular place well. Let me mark its location on your map. When you can spare a moment, come back and enjoy one of our ceremonies. All should open their hearts to the secrets of love. Okay, old lady. All right. I just came by to... Hey, where are Callie and Sombrin? Ah, oh, it's pretty sus. 
I came by to find out what was keeping you in the ambitions. Where are they? What happened to Kalyan Somrin? Yeah, I mean, it changes from patch to patch, but generally Khajiit have al always been like, very decent. Diabella Priest said Kali and Stormbrun headed to a ruin outside Gideon. A ruin? I wonder why they went there. Haven't those two had enough adventures after all they've been through? We should go find the ambitions or they'll miss the party. Did the priest say which ruin in particular? We marked it on our map, said it was Lead north. on then. The party's going to start soon and we don't want to be late. Mate, there's definitely something sus going on here. Well. She definitely set us up, mate. Okay, it's this ruin over here. Isn't this the same ruin that we uh, went to for summoning the Daedric Betrayal? Oh, I've absolutely wet. I've sodden myself. Thank you for the like there, Jackie Miller, on Facebook. Oh. Okay, we're almost there. Where are they? Just chilling out over here. Was well, a heavy sack. Let me unburden your load, mate. This this vision bug is kind of confusing. I haven't received any companion weapons yet, so it's a bit weird. How much uh, longer, Sombra? You lead. This place makes me feel uneasy. Not long now. I'm almost. Uh, oh, it seems we have company. Hello there. I told Sombrin we should have talked to you before coming out here, but he was so insistent. What's he doing? He wanted to try something with the book, away from other people, just in case. Sombrin thinks my only chance is if we return to the Deadlands. The nature of the realm naturally draws off my power, making it easier to control. The Deadlands? Dagon is sure to find you there. Sombrin doesn't think so. He says that's the last place they'd look for us. I'm still attuned to the realm from the trial in the Ashen Forest. Sombrin believes he'll have enough time to teach me if I'm not in danger of imminently exploding. Has your power gotten worse again? Worse? I suppose that depends on your perspective. It has been growing in intensity again, back at the same level as when we first left the vault. Sombrin is worried I don't have much time. That's why he's being so insistent. Ah, uh, rip. I'm actually glad you found us. I didn't want to leave without an explanation. But I'm afraid that Callie doesn't have a lot of time. What's going on? Callie's power is recharging faster than I anticipated. It will soon reach the point where I won't be able to help her. Then she'll either release it and destroy everything around her, or it will consume her. Either way, people die, including Callie. What's your plan? Use the Mysterium Zarxis to open a portal to the Deadlands. It's the only place I can think of where Kali will Sounds be safe. Sus. The realm naturally siphons off a portion of our power. That will give me Good. time to teach Kali to control it on her own. In Dagon's realm. Sounds like a great plan. It's a big place. Zaina taught me how to avoid notice there. And it's the last place Dagon's followers will think to look for us. As soon as Kali can control her power, we'll come back. I promise. Thank you, my friend. For everything. I choose death. Okay, so I'll they're not coming the to the book when we come back, Evelyn. Now nah, you keep it. I think it was meant for you. Yeah, take it to Dagon, um, along with yourselves, obviously. That's not going to make the next half of this DLC very tricky for us at all. Poor Kalia. I hope Sombrin's right and he can help her. But taking refuge in the Deadlands? That's like the sausage leaping out of the pan because it thinks the fire will be safer. As for me, I never want to visit the Deadlands again. How, she is really bad with metaphors. How do you feel about Sorbon taking your book with him? Hey, it wasn't my book. I was just keeping it safe for... Well, as crazy as it sounds, I think I was meant to give it to Sombrin. He certainly did more with it than I ever could. And I'm not about to miss the bad dreams and the waking visions. Anyone playing on Stadia, how does it perform? I Stadia and PC are actually cross-play, and for some weird reason, my internet's like incredible, yeah? Like, I have like 300 megabytes per second download speed and like a 100 upload or something crazy, and my ping is like 20, um, between like 0 and 20. 
because I'm so close to like uh, you know like one of those hubs and um, I on my PC like my ping is like a hundred like 90 to 100 usually um, for an Ethernet con Ethernet connection but if I'm playing on Stadia through the Wi-Fi my um, my ping is actually even less um, and the latency is even better so uh, Stadia is actually better to play ESO on for ping. I don't understand why. It must be something to do with like the Google Mega servers and how it works, but in a really weird way, for some reason, it's better to play Stadia on Wi-Fi than it is to play for an Ethernet connection on really good internet. I don't know if it's the same for everyone else, though. So what do we do now? We go to the party! It's taking place in the gardens behind the governor's mansion. To think... This all started because I was curious about a coded journal I found in Emperor Leovic's old retreat. We figured out the secret, and now we celebrate. I'll see you at the party. Last one there doesn't get any cake. And right now, I've only got 66 ping, which is great. But usually it goes up to a lot higher. I'm going to beat her, obviously. The cake is mine, bitch. Get out of my way. That's my cake. I really feel like cake now. Damn it. That's the sneak courts. I'm so hungry for cake. Ah! Oh. Some people right, don't like the bustle of cities, I was but I come from a big family, so it reminds me of home. Apparently, it's in his back garden here. It's just the party. That sounds delicious, oh, assassin. You must you. leave me a copy of the recipe. Wait, what? The assassin's trading recipes with someone? Where is the assassin? This guy's brought a massive pot of, like, some kind of Argonian concoction. Where's the assassin? Even Miri's enjoying herself. That's pretty cool. Wait. There's two Miri's? I'm very confused. Oh, this is the assassin. Here he is. He's at the back here. I suppose things worked out in the end, but let me offer a word of caution. Dragging the Brotherhood into this was risky. What you do in your spare time is your business, but assassins don't like the spotlight. We prefer lurking in the shadows. Yet here he is at the party. <laughs> What's next for the master assassin then? You mean after helping you clean up this massive debacle? Oh, the usual, I guess. Try some more of the local cuisine. Collect my next contract. Complete my next contract. What can I say? I'm a creature of habit. Welcome to the celebration, mercenary. There are many here who wish to thank you and share a drink or two. Oh, free. Where are Sombrin and Kalia? I expected you to bring them with you. Sombra took Kalia somewhere to teach her how to control her power where they won't endanger others. To the Deadlands with the Mysterious Darksum. Choosing Dirksum. exile to spare others from danger is a noble decision. I wish them well, even as I worry about Sombra and Kalia out there on their own. Everyone else has gathered. Eat, drink, talk to your friends. In time, I shall address the crowd. Who shall I talk to? I don't understand parties. Anyone you like. They have really? all come to show you their appreciation. And do not leave too swiftly. I intend to boast of your accomplishments soon. Imagine I just see Evelyn has leave. arrived. Perhaps you should begin with her. Ah, well, you're here after me. Therefore, you don't get any cake. So this is what it's like being the hero everyone looks up to? Most of the stories I've read end with a hero riding off into the sunset before anyone can properly thank them. But I feel like we ought to stay for just a little while, don't you? Definitely. You're a famous adventurer now. Yeah, the last two DLCs has kind of had like this celebration after, you know, the, the quest is finished, which I, it kind of is quite a nice sort of touch. I like it. I don't know about that, but I certainly feel more experienced and I have you to thank. Well, you and Captain Rianne and Governor Keshu and poor Farrell Lupus. Can you believe this all started because I couldn't leave Emperor Leovic's secret alone? We still need to find the fourth ambition, I suppose. That's right. I almost forgot. And we should be ready to help Sombrin and Kalia when they return. 
I don't believe that Mayroon's Dagon and his followers are just going to leave them alone. I really thought the ambitions were actual weapons, though. Take care of yourself, Evelyn. Here, your share of the last of our compensation from Leowin. And a little something from me. I learned so much at your side. If you ever need any help, just send word and I'll come running. Oh, look! I think Governor Keshu is ready to speak. Leowin outfit shield is pretty cool. I want to check that Welcome, out. Welcome, people of Blackwood and honored friends. We have weathered a terrible storm. So now we celebrate. Many had a hand in this victory, including those who gave their lives for our cause. But I want to honor the two heroes beside me. Without them, all would have been lost. So stand tall and raise your cups to the sky. Remember those who fell and praise the deeds of those who lived. To victory! Absolute silence. Thanks, thanks guys. Appreciate that, man. Really appreciate that. <laughs> Crapper's speech. Wait, was, was that it? Now, Hail. who's got a drink for me? You? This what? is like smashed. Well. So, any chance I could talk you into enlisting in the Ivory Brigade? No? I didn't think so. Oof. You should have seen the look on Liam's face when I invited him to this. <laughs> look, you can still see the leftover wide-eyed disbelief. <laughs> I can hardly believe it myself. A life for an adventurer is never dull. So they actually had the companions written in here, like for the ending scene. I mean, I really appreciate that, but I think they needed more of this throughout the whole storyline. Like just general comments on like, oh my god, we just defeated a Daedric god together would have been good. Isn't that the truth? Of course, exciting for me is exploring an old ruin and hoping I find more treasures than traps, not battling the hordes of Mayrunes fetching Dagon over the fate of the world. I was not prepared for the latter. Considered retiring? Not a chance, Fla. Today I learned that's something I can do. And next time I'll be better prepared. But try not to let that intimidate you. So this is Miri. This is her brother, Liam. Miri said you were involved in some big adventure. But I never thought she meant literally going to war with a Daedric prince. He's been busy in Blackwood, as you know. I'm a little bit mad that Miri didn't invite me to help you this time. But I won't pretend that I would have been any help at all. I barely got out of that scrape with the waking flame alive. Just don't let her get a big head about it, all right? No promises. Yeah, well, fair. Miri might even be more headstrong than Mother. You take care of my sister, though. Our dad will get an ulcer if you two are always off to Vec knows where in oblivion. I'll try and keep her out of trouble. I feel like we haven't even done all these adventures together though because she didn't comment on any of it. It almost felt like I literally forgot the sound of her voice. Like her voice acting seems fantastic but I literally forgot the sound of Miri's voice even though she's my companion. She doesn't say anything like regarding the actual story we're on. Whereas Evely Sharp Arrow I feel like yeah she was like adventuring with us and commenting on absolutely everything and that was really cool. I think we needed more from Miri though make her feel like an actual companion. That's all a helpless baby brother can ask. At least until I can wrestle with four armed giants myself. Hope to see you both again soon. Problem, Sarah? Let's talk about us. What would you like to talk about? Tell me something about yourself. My dad's an antiquarian. He gave me an appreciation of cultural artifacts. Mom showed me how to find them. I prefer to treat such things with the respect they deserve. Yeah, I mean, you can ask her about her backstory and as you improve her relationship, she reveals more in personal quests and stuff. But in regards to the actual storyline, her comments on it, I mean, she's like a part of this DLC. Obviously, you're going to grab a companion and go through the main quest. That's what I think most players will do as soon as they find one, you know. So it just seems like a bit of a pity uh, that like they, she wasn't more like sort of, you know, it's like if you look at Ingo as like a follower or many other uh, followers in Skyrim, especially like the quest mod followers, they really like respond to what goes on in the world around you and comment on like current situations and what you're doing. And it would be nice to see more of that from companions because, you know, 
at the moment they just feel a little bit like sometimes they kind of remind you that they're there and you're like oh that's really cool like uh, she commented on me stealing something or, or this or that and that's like makes you feel like you're having an adventure with someone uh, even if it is an AI but um, yeah I just think they need a little bit more of that what do you guys think though I mean you guys are watching the whole stream you saw that you saw what it was like Greetings. oh look Councillor Leviticus I wanted you to know how appreciative I am of what you've done for us not only did you reveal Vandasia for the traitor he was, you took him down and saved Blackwood. Countess Cairo in the Chamber of Legates, thank you. You're I always welcome here. Just spotted the danger in the background there. <laughs> like in the corner, you could see it. What's your plans for Leowin now, Counselor? Plans? The same as they were before this trouble started. Work with Gideon to secure our borders and keep the war from impacting Blackwood directly. Make sure our communities stay safe and prosper. If not for you, none of that would even be possible. I'll make a rug out of you, cat. <laughs> You're not wearing that dashing outfit I sold you? Oh no, we if should put it back on. If today's celebration is not the perfect occasion to dress up, I don't know what is. Dude, it would Perhaps have been actually a good idea. you should visit my shop again to freshen up your wardrobe, hmm? I'm surprised you got involved in this affair. He just looks fantastic with that cheese platter and grapes, though. Why? Shouldn't a leading Leowin business person attend a celebration for all of Blackwood? Bes makes sense, makes sense. Who's this? What are you doing, mate? Hello, Lyrith. It seems you have done well, little mortal. I hear you killed Mayrun's Dagon's high priest and stopped the planes from merging. I find you to be... interesting. I will remember that the next time I require the assistance of a mortal agent next time you must realize that the events surrounding Levik's secret and the four ambitions have not yet reached their climax when next Dagon and his followers emerge from the shadows I will be waiting to see what they do and then I'll send for you very well so we obviously have the second part of the Blackwood chapter that's going to come out later this year uh, which is going to have the rest of the storyline now we've done the main quest line of Blackwood. Um, so I'm pretty pretty pumped for that. I think like in terms of like the first part of the story, I actually I think it was I think it was interesting. Like it was a lot of dialogue and like not a lot of fighting or action compared to like Greymoor or elsewhere. And I found like the the landscape was a bit sparse and kind of bit more boring compared to all the previous DLCs I felt like they were just like a lot more time and details and dedication was put into them um but I I enjoyed the main quest to be honest I think I think uh the detective sort of storyline and narrative with the Dark Brotherhood was very interesting it kept me involved and the ambitions actually being people was a really cool plot twist that I did not expect at all Versus some of the other things being a little bit obvious, as they usually are with these kind of uh, narratives. So it, it definitely kept me interested, like, the whole way through. And then we had the boss fight with Dagon that was, like, very cinematic and cool. With him just, like, marching around as he came into Tamriel. And it was like, whoa, you saved everyone. That was a cool moment. Um, I felt like the boss fight was quite, quite cool at the end as well. Um, it didn't seem as epic as Greymore, but I preferred the storyline. So what, what do you guys think of the whole DLC? Like, what, what are your thoughts? The voice acting was superb. 100% agree, dude. Voice acting is always superb. They like I think of all the MMOs and games I play, uh, The Elder Scrolls Online just has such a high standard of voice acting compared to any other game. In part of it, that Cyrodiil is familiar, whereas elsewhere in Somerset were new areas. Yes. So this part just here... Like the cutoff point down there, just here. Um, essentially, this was in the Elder Scrolls Oblivion, the Elder Scrolls IV Oblivion, the single player game with Leowin. Um, whereas this whole area of Blackwoods didn't feel very Blackwoody. Like, I kind of, I think Shadowfen is a much better example of like the Argonian marshland. I kind of thought it would be a bit more swampy and, you know, Blackwood kind of says to me like a dense forest land. But, you know, maybe I need to read more law books there. Maybe I'm wrong. I felt like it didn't give an example of what it should be like, in my opinion. 
Um, obviously, there's still the trial down here. I've not tried that, and like lots of other side quests to explore and locations, uh, and also the houses and world bosses to do and, and whatnot. But I think we've been playing through this main quest for about um, six hours. It's taken us just to do the main quest, and uh, we've not skipped any dialogue or anything like that. Uh, we've really taken our time to enjoy it. I like elsewhere because cats is nice. Yeah, else like northern elsewhere and southern elsewhere. Like, so this is northern elsewhere. This is where's southern. Where is southern elsewhere? Yeah, northern and southern. These zones were absolutely massive, and the storyline in this zone was really cool with the dragon guard and dragons. God, I loved elsewhere. It was such a good DLC. Um, Skyrim. Uh, so we got East March and the Rift. I think the second part of the storyline that took place um, in. Sorry, it's not here. It's actually Western Skyrim and The Reach. Yeah, the second part of the Greymoor DLC that took part in The Reach. I actually think this was better than the first part. The first part of the storyline, as you guys saw from my playthrough, uh, the plot twist was so hilariously obvious. It was cringy, but hilarious. Um, but yeah, no, I did, I did enjoy that. Um, and it was going back to Skyrim, so obviously like there was always an element of me that would love to go back to Skyrim. And they recreated it very, very well. Uh, same with Markath in the second part of the DLC, which I've played for as well. Which you can also watch the live stream of. Somerset is my favourite DLC. Yeah, dude, Somerset is another great one. So Somerset's over here, out of this whole zone with Arteum, which is over here. Uh, and the Sigic skill line. I really enjoyed Somerset just because the side quests were like so memorable. And each one of them was really unique and fun. Um, Somerset was really unique. I felt like it was really like a high fantasy world that I had ventured over to instead of like Eastern European medieval RPG. So yeah, Somerset was great as well. I have a lot of fond memories of playing that with my fiance too. Um, and then what did we have before that? God, it was... I never really played through Fardenfeld, to be honest. I've not done the main story here, so I can't even comment on that. This is obviously like Morrowind. Uh, I didn't actually have time when that came out to go back and replay it. Um, and then we had uh, Shadowfen. I played through that. Did the whole map. That was awesome. I love Shadowfen. It was quite a small, like, I guess, like, sort of chapter DLC zone. Um, I actually met the creator. I think his name's... Is it Matt Grandstuff? Yeah, and I was talking to him about this. And I, I was like, dude, it was incredible. Like, really good job on that. And he was like, oh, wait until this and that come out. And, like, this is going to be really cool. He was, like, undervaluing it, I feel like. And I was like, no, dude, this was incredible. I thought it was a lot of fun. Um, Hughes Bane, yeah, that was the Thieves Guild DLC. I don't think I've actually finished that one. Dark Brotherhood DLC. Can't remember if I finished the Gold Coast or not. Obviously, that's also going back to a bit of oblivion because you had Anvil here and Kavach, but before Kavach was destroyed because it's placed in the second era, the Elder Scrolls IV Oblivion, where Kavach is destroyed by the Oblivion Gates again when in, when Dagon tries to invade. Obviously, uh, Kavach is in ruins then. So... Not much so free on the map. Dude, there's so much free on the map. Um, obviously, this is filled in now. And um, they're going to have another part of Black Marsh, I guess, over here, maybe? Or down here? I don't know for sure. Uh, that's going to be here. Or maybe it'll be in between here and here to, like, link the two. Who knows? Um, so, we've got a lot of other areas to explore. Rayhome. Oh, is that one of the spawn areas? Where was this? can't remember what that was for was it a dungeon actually there's there's a lot more to explore and we've got like loads of other realms of oblivion and stuff so you know so what do you think will be your best companion uh i mean i already know that um the most useful one competitively speaking for like solo gameplay is miri uh as a healer just run her as a full healer she has like an extra three percent for healing as well i think so if you're like a good player, the Ring of the Pale Order, very much like the more damage you do, the more you can heal yourself if you're not if you're playing completely solo. Uh, however, if you have Miri adventuring with you, I'd just swap this out for a monster mask and shoulders and just use Miri healing you and it's just kind of like an AFK healer method way of playing and you'll you know you'll have a great time. So having her heal you from a distance is yeah, best companion by far in my opinion. Uh, I've not really tested out Bastion much, but I think Miri's better and I prefer her, so I'd probably just use her. 
Um, I'm guessing we'll get another remove location with Cold Harbor. I mean, as well, you can see that they've deliberately left out where White Run is on the map uh, and the Throat of the World here in the middle of um, Skyrim, just here on the map. I would not be surprised in the future we see shouts be added to the game and like some kind of dragonborn thing with the throat of the world and like a dragon center dlc where we can use the voice again uh rediscovering that just to get like old skyrim fans once again to return because i wouldn't be surprised if Greymore was just one of the best dlcs uh that sold because obviously it's like return back to skyrim um, and the same way they did elsewhere in the Dragons, they always try and play on like Elder single player Elder Scrolls games um, and reminding them like with the Gates of Oblivion and the old Oblivion game and playing on those like things and nostalgia to make people return to the game, which I think is a great thing. Same with like the Dark Brotherhood and Thieves Guild and so on. Yeah, so much potential even after seven years, like... I don't think this game is, is going to stop anytime soon adding interesting content. And we've got the next Blackwood DLC to play through next. So guys, if you enjoyed the playthrough, please do drop a like on the video. It really does help me out. Uh, and I'll see you in the next playthrough, of course. So thank you so much for all the subscriptions and likes and comments uh, in the chat there. We've got Chivalry coming out um, next week. Um, I've also got my first impressions of another game that I'll be releasing next week as well. And I've got some Fallout New Vegas content I'm doing. I might do some in-between live streams of ESO as well because we've got some new dungeons coming out later on as well. There's a lot of stuff happening this month. A lot of stuff i got to show you guys and release. I've also got the Elder Scrolls. I mean, uh, the Starfield. Uh, I mean, Bethesda um, and Xbox press conference. Uh, E3 that I'll be live streaming. So if you want to watch that with me, it's taking place uh, next weekend. So I'll have that live stream up and ready for you guys to join in at. So guys, thank you so much for watching. Any more casino bots? Literally, dude. Thanks for banning them, Taser. Thanks for all the support mods as well on the stream, especially you, Taser. I know you... See, Taser wants to play this through on his own and he like he watches the stream, uh, watches me play through the main story early, which I know he would probably like to experience on his own so thanks so much everyone say a thanks to him in the chat as well before you leave uh, and i'll end the stream here thank you so much for watching guys goodbye and have a lovely evening whatever you might be doing